Hello there, everyone. How how are you? Come on in. Come on in. It's lovely to see you. I always say that. I always say that. But you grow lovelier each time I do see you. So it's a pleasure. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Hi. Well, look at you. Look at all of you. Come on in. Come on. It's sweet. It's sweet. <laughs> Uh, how how is everyone? How how are you all doing, chat? Hi Zanny, hi to you too. Hi to you too. Well, I hope you're doing wonderfully. Okay, I hope that everything's going well. That you're ready to get cozy with me. You can't see it, but I'm I'm wrapped in my favorite blanket right now. I'm I have some coffee by my side. I'm chilling. I'm hoping to have a cozy little little afternoon slash evening with all of you. Why? Because I think that you're, you're, you're deserving of one, and I think I'm deserving of one too, to be quite honest. I think that I've worked my ass off lately, and I think I could use a little, a, little bit of, a little bit of rest and relaxation. And by that I mean playing a cozy game of Minecraft where we turn around and, and build things in a very cutesy cute way. I think that would be, that would be lovely. Mm. I've got a blanket hoodie, can recommend. I have a blanket hoodie too. Samesies, oh my gosh, sisters. <laughs> yes, I, I also have a blanket hoodie. In fact, uh, it's one of my favorite things. I, I purchased it a long, long, long time ago, but it's one of my favorite little possessions and, and I do rather value it. It's absolutely delightful. <laughs> uh, Wonderful. Wrapped in a blanket because of chills. Too hot in my country for a blanket. Okay, if it's too hot in your country for a blanket, then just, I don't know, throw yourself over whatever object is nearby, like a Disney princess preparing to weep, and we should be good. We should be good. <laughs> it's like the classic thing, isn't it? Just like slightly, slightly thrown off. Slightly, slightly there. That's what I think anyway. And what do I know? I'm just a silly little incubus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Give me one second and I'll start setting up the little server. There we go. And obviously, obviously I need to have you guys off to one side so I can see you. Just go over there. Back to game and then come on, come on, get over here. Get over here. We're going to we're going to the the, the, the full screen gaming room. And what I'll do is I'll, oh, this is where, this is where Kite and I were yesterday. Just drop this over here. I need to shuffle myself into the corner. Hit, 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 There we go. There we go. Welcome to the corner. I love it here. It's my corner. It's my space, as it were. It's my personal space. <laughs> the dark room. It's the dark room. Yeah, it's the dark room. It, every, listen, the magic happens in the dark room. The spiciest stuff happens with the dark room with the lights out. <laughs> you know how it goes. You don't have to you don't have to be able to see things. Now, now. My house is very pretty. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I've been on a home decorating journey. I have to be honest. I felt kind of stressed out the other night, okay? This is between you and me. Between you and me. I felt kind of stressed out the other night, you know, stress of trying to take over the world. So I decided I was going to relax. And my idea for relaxing was I should pay, I should pay, play Minecraft, right? I should play some Minecraft. So I sat, uh, I sat down and I found a relaxing little thing going on and I decided I was just going to chill. And here I am now chilling and things are a little bit different from when you last saw them, but then by far better. They're by far better. And sometimes you do just need that little bit of extra chill, you know? Here's, don't worry, don't worry, everyone. I know that the, the food is making you nervous. Minecraft music hitting hard. It's not too loud for any of you, is it? I hope it's not too loud for any of you. I want this to be nice, relaxing, chill time. Chill time with all of us. Thought it would be a nice little... I don't know if you guys remember from a little while back. I did like a, a Minecraft coffee ramble, which was, which was kind of nice. Um, is that a bucket of lava? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Ah, now where were those? There were those cherry planks. I'm thinking that what we could do is we could turn around and um, and uh, turn. We could turn around and kind of do a little interior decorating. I always find interior decorating something that I find relaxing. You know, Zanny juice. Lava is Zanny juice. Uh, 
<laughs> There's a joke I could make there, but I won't make it. Oh, I also built a balcony, if you guys like it. I thought it was quite sweet, you know, this, this little this little thing. Oh, and I need to show you all. Okay, we're going on a tour. We're going on a tour because I've been... Okay, so you know when, like, you do the thing and you're, like... And you kind of, like, um, hyperfixate on, like, one thing and that ends up becoming your thing for an entire evening? I kind of hyperfixated on Minecraft, okay? And I'm going to show you what I built. So here we go. So I built this nice road down here, right? So I, I I went over yonder, quack quack, quack. What is up with Roscoe? Oh, Roscoe's stream last night was 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 definitely a thing. Under these trees, okay. I built a a nice little infrastructure. Yes, that's the word infrastructure. I built infrastructure, and uh, I went over. Oh, Sarakula, thank you very very much for the super. Thank you. I really really appreciate it. It's too early for a super Sarakula. We only just started the stream. You're too sweet. Thank you so much. Morning, Xander. Just finished work. Your house is looking nice, eh? Thank you very much. It looks good from the outside as well, if you guys can see. That's the wrong block. Uh, it's just down here. Oh, that's an Enderman. There you go. Do you see how that's like a nice little, little purple up there? It kind of looks like a cake. Speaking of, I'm thinking I'm going to give that baking stream a retry next week. I've decided that I'm going even further to make it work. I'm going to do crazy things for what I desire. We've got some stairs down here, and then the road leads to here, and this is where it gets really cool. I built a bridge, and Gail loves it. Look at this, I built a bridge. I built all of this, and then I built a bridge over to here. And it's kind of nice, isn't it? It looks like a little river crossing. Oh, I'm more than good from that rose stream. That ro Like, I, if anything, you know. That roast stream turned around and just cemented the fact that I burned the absolute worst in Avalum out of everyone. Ooh, my blocks. There are my blocks. But yes, we got like a nice little little road here. And the idea is that the other boys were finding it a little bit difficult to get to me, considering that I'm some distance away. So I built a road directly to Cass's treehouse, which is right here. Because Cass and I do have that, that like amazing little little thing going on. So Cass is over here. And the road leads directly to mine. And it's really easy because everyone was having to deal with like crossing the river and I wanted to make their lives a little bit easier. And and I just decided it would be it would be a smart thing to do to just set up a cool little bridge here. Which is nice, you know? You know? Lovely, lovely. See? See, I I kind of wanted to go out of my way just to make sure that this was like a nice little area. A nice little little easy walkable path, you know, somewhere where everyone could just be like, okay, we're going to Zanny's now. <laughs> listen, listen, I'm allowed to be cute occasionally, okay? I'm allowed to be cute once in a blue moon, okay? There's a specific cuteness requirement. I have to, I have to be cute a certain amount of times for the year. Otherwise, uh, infernal affairs start asking questions. That's, that's why I'm, that's why I'm there. Lucy will not get lost again. <laughs> true, true, true. Very true. Is that an Enderman over there? I know there was one somewhere. Oh well. Oh, bloody hell, bloody hell. Ah, look down. Fuck. Um... Um... Will I build roads to other people's homes? Uh, maybe. 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 Careful, Lamal. No, the- okay. One thing that has not failed is Minecraft continues to be able to jump scare me. I don't- I know we're being cozy. I know this is cozy day, but Minecraft still jump scares me. And I don't know if that's just a me thing, or if, like, everyone else is jump scared by Minecraft like I am. I- I'm worried that it's just a me thing, and I'm, like, terminally cringe. I'm thinking I might be terminally cringe, but, um, you know, Minecraft is a horror game at the end of the day. How long till we get a Zanny death in Minecraft? We're not getting a Zanny death in Minecraft. I don't know what you're talking about. We're not getting a Zanny death in Minecraft. Never, never, never. Also, why is an Enderman able to go out in the sun? I thought that I thought mobs were meant to burn in the light, unless I unless Endermen are just one of the ones that that, that, that can be out in the sun. Like, oh bloody bloody hell, bloody hell! 
do we do we do we fight him or do we look down do do we it's a horror game disguised as a cozy as a cozy game i don't know where he's gone get what choose violence look down fight him while hiding behind blocks you know, I'm thinking, where is he? I just, I just wanted to do some home renovation. I said that that was, even your startled sounds kind of cozy. Aw, I'm cozy without even trying. I love that for me. I did want to just do a little bit of home renovation. That was the intent behind here. What we'll do is we'll do a little bit of home renovation because I did need some blocks and then we'll go on an adventure. We'll go on a fun little adventure. I do hope that Enderman doesn't steal any of my stairs. I need those. It would kind of be funny if I ended up coming down one morning and my stairs were gone. Water it. Your voice makes it cozy. If there are two block spaces over your head, they won't hit you. Oh. That's interesting. I've always found the rules of Minecraft interesting. Gail's dogs are still here. Gail's dogs have been here for weeks now. Gail, Gail's dogs have been here for weeks now. I, oh, no, no, no. The five dogs were Lucy's. The two were Gail's. Lucy took his dogs back. These these two are Lucy's. I I feel like maybe we, we've turned around and and ended up in a situation where I've adopted these dogs indirectly. Like I can't I can't move them. They just live in my house now. <laughs> Will you get a pet? That's a good idea. A very good idea. Hmm. I'll have to find a pet. You know what? I'm not going to go out looking for a pet, but if a pet comes across my my sort of way, I'm going to be I'm going to be fine with it, if that makes sense. I feel like the right pet will find us, you know? The right pet will find us when the time is right. There we go. I don't want to turn around and force it, you know? It's kind of it's kind of like how the the wand chooses the wizard, the dragon chooses the rider. God, I loved Aragon when I was a kid. I loved Aragon as a child. That was that was such a good book. You know, Christopher Paolini was actually one of the only authors out there that has actually managed to use self uh, authors publishing house or self self publishing and actually had his book be successful. Because normally, when people self publish, the actual company self publish books uh, kind of is is known for doing very sort of like out there things and. Um, it kind of having the assumption that people who print their books through them and decide to take the self-publishing route will fail by default. So they're more than happy to just sort of take the money and call it a day. But Christopher Paolini was actually one of the only individuals to actually turn a self-published book uh, in, in sort of the modern era into a successful little, little franchise that still holds up to this day, which is wonderful, actually. I'm... Lucy's dog died when it left my house? What? Oh no! Well, I guess Lucy should have left his dogs here then. <laughs> I think it's Authors Publishing House, something like that. But yes, uh, it's kind of a thing where some publishing houses uh, bank on the default failure. There we go. Well, also, do we have any sand? We do have sand. I have lots of sand. At one point I was going to build the road out of sand. I think we need glass. I think we need a lot of glass. I feel like glass is going to be important to me at some point in the future. Just drop this here. There we go. All right, and to bed we go. Teehee. The movie was a fever dream. The movie was a fever dream. The movie was interesting. The movie, because, okay, so I actually, I'm going to show some of my age here. Um, Aragon was one of the first books I ever read in human, which was actually rather, rather, rather endearing. It's very cute. It was one of the first books I read in human. And it was it was a thing where uh, 
my my mother, Mother Netherbrand, was very insistent that I get a good love of literature as a child. She was very insistent that I get a that I develop a strong love of literature and storytelling. Uh, she was very very insistent on that. Speaking of Mother Netherbrand, actually, I have to pick her up from the airport today. <laughs> she's she's flying into where Club Netherbrand is to pay me a visit, and it's the first time I've seen her in about six seven months. So, I've got to go be a good son and pick her up. <laughs> Yes, today. Yes, today. <laughs> I know, I know. It's very cute. It's very cute. <laughs> I know. I'm not going to take her to my apartment, though. I'm literally just going to be like, here's the hotel. D you don't get to see my apartment. It's a mess. <laughs> you don't get to see it. It's a mess, okay? Listen, the, 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 the back rooms of Club Netherbrand are designed for my enjoyment. Hmm. I have ideas. I have ideas. My empty apartment. Listen, I'll have you know that like two room, that one, one room is full. One room, I have like one full room, okay? I have one. Don't be a hater. I have one full room. <laughs> G give me a chance. I'll be better. I promise. I got, I got kitchenware. How is my incredibly empty apartment a mess? I... Listen, li listen, listen. There's a saying that some humans have. Where there's a will, there's a way. Hmm. What if I... <gasps> no, could I? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, okay. I'm going to try a thing now. So if I try a thing, I'm going to I'm going to try and build like a little a little greenhouse, but I'm going to do it in the most roundabout and silly way possible. Here. Why am I doing that? I could just. Why am I? I think I'm just I. I I'm just a silly little guy. You know what? We'll come back to this. We'll come back to this. This is not the time for that. This is not the time for a greenhouse. Less is more. Less is more. I'm thinking we'll use we'll use the, the glass blocks, but I wanted to build out here. And it, less is more. Sometimes I need to learn that less is more. I think it's 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 the, it's a classic, you know? It's a classic. Here we go. Here we go. And then two blocks here. I'm so ready to fall. I'm so ready to fall. I'm so ready. I'm holding down like the little don't fall button, but I'm still so ready to fall. Something tells me this is going to be great. Um, don't fall. I know, I know. I can't actually die because I have Gail's diamond shovel with me and he gifted that to me and said that I could use it to help build things. Like this thing, this thing. It's an enchanted diamond shovel he gave me and I don't want to like break it because if I break it, then I'm actually going to be in trouble because he told me that I wasn't allowed to break it or lose it and that he would be mad if I did. So, <laughs> so I literally have to turn around and be like, I promise to look after your things, friend. I promise. I double promise. Then again, he did break the senpai stuff. So, but then, then again, I, I I borrowed from them. So, yeah, that seems about right. Here. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm good, good. So I wanted to build outwards and kind of create a glass floor in the center, surrounded by like the pink wood. And then, once I'd done that, I'm not really sure where the plan goes, but, but, but there, 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 there is just a little plan. There's something going, there's something cooking in my mind. There we go, and this is relaxing, isn't it? Where's the Minecraft music? I like the Minecraft music. But yes, I have to, I have to go, do, go do the good sun thing and pick people up from the airport, which is, which is a thing thing. 
I always liked airports. They seem so calm, you know? Oh, I guess calm but busy, if that makes sense. Here we go. Oh, no. No, I didn't want the full glass wall experience, actually. I wanted to use the, these blocks to... That's asymmetrical. That's going to kill me. That needs to be symmetrical. Better. I find them strangely relaxing. I don't know, maybe it's a me thing, but I do find airports strangely relaxing. And then we grab this. Do I have any saplings on me by any chance? No, but I have, oh, I have seeds. I could build like a little, a little crop thing here. That would be nice. There we go. Oh, okay, so that's, 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 that's there, that's there. That's not quite symmetrical. That's not quite symmetrical. We'll figure this out. I was in an airport for you. So, I will tell you a little story, actually, if you've got time. If you've got time, I'll regale you with a little tale from this incubus. There was a time where I ended up uh, somewhat stranded in, I believe it was, um, not Chicago airport, but um, Seattle. There we go. I ended up stranded in Seattle airport for a little while. And it was because of the fact that a flight I was on got delayed. And then it resulted in a layover. And it resulted in, because it, it wasn't like a full layover. The plan was always that there was going to be a slight layover. But the flight I was going to get onto got delayed. And the layover turned from a, I believe it was an, a 12 hour layover, where I was just going to hang out in the airport, into an 18 hour layover which was an extra six hours, but trust me, that six hours makes all the difference. So for around 18 hours, I lived in Seattle airport and sat there just enjoying the bar. And I, I slept there and I stayed there all night and some of the next day. And it was strangely enjoyable because I don't know, it was just strangely enjoyable. I just strangely enjoyed it. Here we go. Okay, okay, that's pretty. We've got bum bum. And then bum bum bum. Oh, no, 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 no. Bum bum. There we go. There we go. And I'm thinking I'll plant trees here and just sort of enjoy that. Sort of a, yeah. You know what we could do? Oh, oh, let's make a garden. Let's make a garden. Oh, that's such a good idea. You have such good ideas, chat. Let's make a garden. Zanny, you're so unique. Well, that was the thing, though, because I have a very nice accent. Um, a lot of travelers through the airport who were American felt uh, felt kind of like they would it would be nice to buy me a drink. So I drank for free for several hours. And then when I did get on, on my flight 18 hours later, I was strongly buzzed and ready to end up wherever I ended up in the world. We could... Oh, and we have the planks. Oh, I ha I'm having ideas. I'm having ideas. Oh, someone stop me. I'm having ideas. One, two, three, four. And then I'm... Oh, oh, and if I, if I go to the crafting table, this is what I'm thinking. We'll build a little gazebo there. We'll build a little gazebo. That'll be sweet. That'll be sweet. British Superbub. British Superbub. Oh, you can definitely use an accent for free drinks. You can definitely use an accent for free drinks. For sure, for sure. Oh, I I will say, I will say, one of the worst plane rides of my of my entire existence was when I was on the flight back from uh, Japan. And it was because I was on... Okay, so as everyone knows, the middle seat is the worst seat on the plane. That is fact. However, however, I would postulate that postulate good word postulate however i would postulate i would pose i would i would i would i would state that the middle seat is not inherently the worst seat i would say it has the capacity to be the worst seat however 
the seat with the highest potential to be even worse than the middle seat is the aisle seat. Do you know why I believe that? Because of the fact that if you're stuck next to two people who need to go to the bathroom alternatively every 20 minutes, you're going to end up getting up and being the one that doesn't sleep through the entire flight. That is my statement. There we go, grab this, put this here. And that was what happened to me on the flight back to Japan. I was stood, I was sat next to these, these, these two individuals who every 20 minutes they needed to go to the bathroom. And as a result, I would need to get up and I would need to let them out. And then it would happen again and again and again. And it got to the point where I was thinking maybe one of them should just switch seats and give me the window seat because it's getting a little bit much at this point. And then, was it three? It was three. Three. <laughs> that is like, right? Right? Like, don't get me wrong, like, you, you can't really blame them for it, like, oh, it, it happens. But, but, you gotta, you gotta go, hey, listen, listen, I keep getting up, let me sleep. <laughs> Aisle seats are perfect for short flights, true, 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 <laughs> Sleep and not care. To be fair, I'm looking forward to seeing everyone again in Japan. I can't wait to harass Gale. I need to harass him. <laughs> uh, that and I need to try and dr I need to drag Ro Roscoe into my debauchery. Like I, I love getting to spend time with Roscoe and dragging him. Hey, that time I was reincarnated as a Glizzy. Thank you very much for the super. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Can I just say, Glizzy Lord is in here regularly with the, with the little Zupa, and it's actually so cute. Well, you know, for a Glizzy. It's cute for a Glizzy. <laughs> uh. Although, that's kind of a dead trend now, isn't it? The whole thank you for the Glizzy thing. Because we had the Glizzy Lord guy on, um, on, uh, oh, what was it called? Um, on, 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 like, the, the Instagram lives, when people were doing the, um, the, uh, the, 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 the pretending to be NPCs, the NPC TikTok, that was it, N NPC TikTok, okay? They were turning around and pretending to, like, not be real people. And they were, they were being like, mm, ice cream so good. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Ice cream so good. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And all that did was finally prove to me the fact that humans desperately need, want to be controlled and forced to submit by overlords. That's, that's, that's all that has taught me legitimately all that has taught me. I arrived at the right time to have all of my theories about humanity proven. Nice. Nice. I like that. I like that. That could be like a little gazebo. See, you, you guys want a demon overlord deep down. You want me to be your demon overlord deep down. There we go. The Miles Morales NPC TikTok guy. I saw the Miles. Oh, oh, I saw him. I saw him get kicked out of a out of a game show or something, or like a, one of those one of those one of those. So you think you have talent things? I saw that. Okay, okay. That's sweet. Maybe I can build like a little, a little higher. I don't know. That looks nice. That looks nice. Okay, so it's not quite perfect, but I feel like this is something to revisit. I'll even it out and make it, make it, uh, make it good. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, do 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 do. Uh, let me see. What's next? What's next? I'm thinking, would I play retro games at some point? I mean, maybe. It, it, it's a bit of a thing where, like, there's a bit of a dance to being allowed to play games on stream. Uh, but if I if I can, I may. <laughs> Let me see. Where Where is, where is, where is, where is? What are we thinking for the second floor, everyone? I'm taking suggestions on, on the second floor. Because we've got sort of the main room here, right? We've got my bed. We've got my thing. If you were the overlord, still hard to choose. Ah, ramen cat, thank you for the super. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. <laughs> Nightclub. 
Bar? Oh, bar. Let's make a bar on the second floor. Well, actually, actually, we could make a bar on the first floor and move my bedroom. <gasps> oh. Because this is already partially... We could make the bar on this floor and move the bedroom to the second floor. Because then that means whenever people visit me, they have to go through the the bar. Right? Can you see the vision? Because we've already got the pillars, and the pillars are very nightclub-esque. It reminds me of this club I used to go to in London. There was this really nice goth nightclub that I used to go to. And I was, I was a bit of a scene kid at the time. But um, it was a very nice little nightclub. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, yes. Do you see it? Do you see it? I see it. I see it. Bedroom and storage can be on the second floor. Exactly, exactly. It's just like the real Club Nether brand. Bedroom and storage are on the second floor. Okay, we'll go up here. We'll take the we'll take the, st uh, the, the steps as well that make up the bed. Oh, you know, we could even go, let's go really fancy with the bed as well. Because I've been, like, well behaved with how, how I've done this. I feel like we could go really fancy with the bed. We could go really, really fancy. We could, let's see, what can we make out of, oh, let, I, I, I see it, I see it, I see it. I'll use, like, darker blocks and I'll start to accent the bottom room with, like, darker blocks, which would be nice. And then what we'll do is we go up here, the bed can go right here here this is what i'm thinking this is what i'm thinking i l always loved beds in the center of rooms you know like it, it 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 it's a nice little little statement piece like this is where the action happens you know and we put it here and Here and now, if we go with smooth stone, what kind of stairs can we make? Let's let's just quickly build another crafting table up here. Let's quickly build another crafting table up here so we don't have to go downstairs because walking downstairs takes too much time and I'm an impatient little bastard. And secret VIP room. Ooh, secret VIP room. I like that. Oh, you guys have such good ideas. You're actually so adorable. <laughs> uh, well, yes, in the middle. Sometimes you just need to put a bed in the middle of a room to be like, this is where, this is the place where all of the good stuff is going to happen. You know, it's, it's a statement piece. Andersonite, Andersonite stairs, polished diorite stairs. We need some polished diorite. We did have a bunch of diorite before, but we don't have that anymore. We need diorite. Then again, we do have... If we get... Oh, if we go polished diorite stairs around here, and then we use the stone as pillars above the bed. I like that. We'll make the bed on a... Oh, oh, okay, here we go. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. Uh, we are going to go down to our little mine that's there, and we're going to get some diorite, and we're going to put the bed on a raised platform. A raised platform bed with stairs around it to create that, like, accent. Because obviously, I'm an incubus, my bed has to be the the, the, the the center point. It has to be the, it has to be the still point in a turning world. You get what I mean. I hope that Enderman's not still here. He's devaluing the neighborhood. Make the bed a stage? Oh, my bed's always a stage. What are you talking about? <laughs> what the... What is that thing? Guys, I don't know Minecraft. What's that thing? A squid? Be careful. An octopus? It's a glowing squid. It's a glow squid. It's harmless. Okay, glow squid, glow squid. Okay, good to know, good to know. So what we'll do is we'll gather the diorite up from here. As you can tell, I have become a bit of a connoisseur of industry uh, by... Here we go. By creating a, a new active mine right here. And 
I need to build a chest really quickly. I should make a chest for gathering up like items that I don't really need down here. Let's go with a chest. There we go. Grab this, put this here, and then grab this. There we go. And we don't need the wheat seeds really quickly. We don't need the wheat seeds, we don't need the leather. The dirt we don't need, we don't need the gravel block, we don't need... Okay, that should be enough. So, as you can tell, my, my, little, my little amethyst mine has been somewhat tapped. Um, you can understand my reasoning for tapping a resource such as this. We're not touching the, the cross blocks, though. We're not touching those blocks. Those are the ones that let us regrow more amethyst. And you, you know how important it is to grow more amethyst. I need a sustainable mine. You know, I need a sustainable mine in this industry. Do we have a... Do we have enough steel? We do have enough steel for a steel... Or an iron for an iron pickaxe. That's good. That's good. Let's speed this up a little bit once this one breaks. Get rid of this. I'm wondering how far all of these blocks go down. This is a nice little, nice little place. This is lovely. Look at that. Look at that. I would have thought I'd have an amethyst mine right next to my house. Isn't that the diorite block? Yes, yes, it's the diorite block. So my intent with the diorite, or calcite, sorry. The, that isn't the diorite. Oh, I was taking calcite, not diorite. Actually. Actually. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Smooth basalt. Polished black stone. Is there anything we can make with basalt? Because I like basalt. Spruce wood. Hmm. Coarse dirt. Polished granite. The granite could be nice. Hmm. Instead of the mines of Moria, it's the mines of Zanny. I mean, true, 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 true. I had better taste than Moria, though. I know when to stop digging. Silly dwarves. Silly, silly dwarves. Then again... I feel like the dwarves kind of had it coming, considering. Now I've watched, like, ring the Rings of Power. I'm like, okay, the dwarves kind of had it low-key coming. Oh, it's dark. Oh, then we'll just spend the night mining. If it's already dark out, then we might as well just spend the night mining down here. What we'll do is we'll just spend some of the night mining. Because I like the, um... The, what's it called? The blackstone. Not the blackstone, the basalt. I like the basalt, but I don't know what it could be used for. Evening? Evening indeed. I don't know what it could be used for. So do you guys ever get the impulse to do something really impulsive, but you can't decide? Save some amethyst to make... Oh, save some amethyst to make the dance floor in the club. The little, little sound would work good. This, this sound. That one. I like that. I like that. I really like that. Great idea. And also, Mooney the Spoonie, thank you for the super. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, much love, Mooney. Much love. Um, okay, so I this isn't diorite, but I like the calcite, but I feel like, is there anything we could do with the calcite and the, and the little black blocks? You know, I, th th is there any... Let me check on the table if there's anything we can do with... Um, with this, smooth basalt. I feel like there's something we could do with smooth basalt. There, there must be a basalt block or a basalt something, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, poles? No, no, it's not that kind of club. It's, it's not that kind of club. <laughs> it's not that kind of club. I appreciate the enthusiasm though. Grey bed, white bed. Hmm. Sticks. Weighted pressure plate. Lightning rod. Okay, I'm not seeing anything that we can make with basalt. No, there's no basalt block. That's a shame. That's a shame. The basalt blocks would look really cool. That kind of like polished black. That would be nice. That would be really nice. Okay then. So what we'll do is we will we will make we'll commit the same folly the dwarves did. 
those many years ago and continue mining downwards. Oh, ow. Okay, so we're out of that. Here, here. Ah. Do, do, do. Iron pickaxe goes here. Hmm. So we've got all of this. I keep thinking that there must be like some some other type of block in here. If we've just got the basalt and the calcite, they're both very soft blocks, you know, they don't, they don't really do much. The, the calcite doesn't really turn into anything, the basalt doesn't either. But the amethyst, the amethyst is what I love, you know? The amethyst is what I, what I, I desire. Wait a minute, what if we, oh, what if we, we, we took the granite? Because they've got polished granite here, right? Right, right, right. Think about this for a second. If we take the polished granite, we can make polished granite steps. Oh, that's rustic. I like that. Wait, what, is, what, is, what does granite need to be mined? Is that, a, is that a pickaxe or is it a shovel job? Okay, it is a pickaxe job. I like the granite. We could get polished granite around the bed. And then we could turn the beds black. We could get two black beds. And then it would be kind of the black on brown. Oh, iron. Nice. Look at that. Sustainability. Just like that. Oh, this is like a full iron vein we found. This is useful. Let's just drop a torch there so I can see a little bit clearer. Yeah, yeah. I always like it when we find little unexpected things like iron veins. There we go. And this, and this, and this. Nice. Now we'll just mine this bit completely out. I wonder how Gale's doing on his boat. You've seen his boat, right? The boat project's insanely big. I don't understand why Gale has chosen a boat that size. Well, I do understand he was drinking when he turned around and decided to build the boat that big. But that's such a large commitment. I'm like, Gale, you're never going to use all of that space. Never, never, never. Like, it's so big. That's so big. And I know that Gale, you know, has the bigger is better attitude. But my guy, like, I struggle to use the space that I have in Club Netherbrand. I struggle to use the space in my in, 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 in my apartment, in my small apartment. Like, what what are you doing, sir? Huh. There's a lot of coal here. Huh. Well that was interesting. Okay, we'll see how much more of this stuff we can get. We'll just tap this vein and then we'll see where it goes. Also, I need to steal some of Gale's diamonds at some point. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. I'd never steal Gale's diamonds. You can have a barbecue with all the senpais on the ship. I don't think the senpais want to see me. I think they know how terrible I am. <laughs> I think they realize how bad I am. I think they're like, oh, that Xander, don't go near him. He took our blocks in Minecraft. It's a cardinal sin. Which, you know, I'm an incubus, that's meant to be my thing. Oh, polished granite. I feel like that's enough polished granite. That's enough polished granite for now. We'll just eh, grab one of these and where do we go? I kind of want to have us be able to see the floor. Okay, there's my little mine. And... Is it daytime yet? I hate going out and traveling at night. I feel like I'm asking for a jump scare. It's still night, but we're going to go out anyway. Oh, wow, there were creepers down there. Very close to me. Oh, that's a child zombie. Go away, child zombie.
that's a child. Go away, child zombie. There we go. Ninja Zanny. Go straight to the... Oh, and just like that, it's dawn. Oh, lovely. You know, let's go out on the balcony and watch them burn. Let's do that. I think that would be fun. I feel that'll be a moment for us. The heck? Why did that sound so close? There better not be an intruder in my home. I do have a spyglass. It's in a drawer somewhere. I'm hoping it'll become a plot device in time. The zombies are Roscoe's kids. No, Roscoe cannot be allowed to reproduce. <laughs> One is already enough. Hey, Roan, thank you for the first ever super chat. Have a great stream, Zanny. I'll join the VOD gang. Thank you, thank you, and thank you very, very much for the first ever super chat. Congratulations. Absolute pleasure. Where is that noise coming from? Oh, it's there. Why not? Can you imagine a legion of Roscoe's? That's too much. That's too much. Listen, we can't cope with a legion of Roscoe's. It's an Avengers level threat. <laughs> it's too much. We can't ever allow Roscoe to reproduce. <laughs> Roscoe can get afraid. I never said that. I never said that. Now you're you're putting your own your own little little thoughts into there. I never said anything akin to that. Okay, listen, listen, we're not, we're not, de we're not dealing with Mpreg this stream. We're not dealing with Mpreg this stream. Listen, I had to deal with Mpreg last stream, okay? I can only deal with Mpreg like once every five streams, okay? Okay? Can we all, can we all collectively agree that that's not, that we're not dealing with that this stream? I don't have it in me to do that again. Besides, surely that would be equivalent of like Roscoe reproducing would be him biting. Well, actually, no, he's a, he's a flesh golem, not a zombie, as he's so keen to point out. Let me see. I'm thinking we'll build. Okay, here's here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to build these polished granite stairs. Just go whoop here here and then we'll do it again we'll get like probably i feel like 12 granite stairs will be enough we're going to put okay i'm just envisioning it in my mind give me a second one oh no that, that. we're going to go one two one two one two one, two, three, four. I, <laughs> Moody, please, please, we don't need to share. We don't, we don't need, <laughs> please, Moody. What's all this about Emperor? I don't know anything. Mooney, Mooney, please, please, we don't need to share. We don't need to, we don't need to share Emperor's story. This isn't the stream for that. Listen, okay, that's for another stream. That's for a stream where I'm drinking, okay? That's for a stream where I'm drinking. That, there's a time and a place. Where is that noise coming from? Is that in my house? Like, that sounds disturbingly close. What the hell? Oh. Oh. Um... Um. Uh. Well, this is awkward, isn't it? Die. 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 Okay, that dealt with that. That dealt with that. Don't you just hate it when uninvited guests turn up at your door and just expect you to let them in? 
absolute rubbish. You know, my trick is that I always answer the door while putting on a coat because then I can make the excuse that I was about to leave. Ridiculous, ridiculous. Don't you, don't you just turn, don't you just, you can't, you just, can't stand it, can't stand it. Okay, so we'll put this here. Good. Okay, okay. You see the vision, right? I'm going to turn around and I'm going to take the bed, which is already there, and I'm going to put the bed here, and this one's going to go here, and then what we'll do is we will mine that, and that, and that, and then we'll grab, where are these? these? Here we go. And then we'll grab these to go here. And here, I once stayed in an Airbnb that had a bed like this. It was on like a little raised platform in the corner of the room underneath a skylight. That's what I'm getting inspired by. I do hope the owners never purchased a black light. Uh, okay, so. Good. That's nice, that's nice. And then we'll go with this and go here. Nice. I didn't want to make those all stairs. That was a misclick on my part, but oh well. Nice. And then we'll go. Uh, just mine, mine this. Good, 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 good. And then... Is that what we're going for? I guess so. Hmm. You're not quite connecting where I want you to. There you go. Mind these again. Sir, what? What? Let's raise it a little bit more, actually. I want to raise it more. Actually, actually, oh, 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 we don't have the, oh, it's because we mined, okay, okay, so what we'll do is we'll take these blocks back, just really quickly, and then we will grab some of this smooth stone, there we go, there we go, drop this here, and then drop this here, that's nice, okay, okay, feels very, very Illuminati, I love it. Falling out of bed would be such a nightmare. Could we drop this so that it's in the... Okay, what we'll do now is we will drop this so that it's kind of in the floor. Right, 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 right. And I'm experimenting here. I'm experimenting. Give me a second. Give me a second. Um... Yes, and then we go bum, 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 bum. And then we'll grab, we'll grab the torches, right? This is, no, this is just looking like a genuine sex cult thing. But oh well, oh well, oh well. Welcome to the cult. Uh, That would be nice, I think. And we'll connect those pillars to the ceiling. Because we should probably put in a ceiling at some point. That works, kind of. It's an aesthetic. It's kind of. Kind of. We need to go get some shears. We need to make so we need to shear some uh, some sheep. 
because I need a bunch of wool. We've got it surrounded. Yeah, we've got it kind of surrounded like a pool. I think we can make shears. We're, we're going to be trying to decorate the interior. There we go, shears. Because we're going to be humanely, humanely shearing the sheep. Shadow Asher, might as well while, add chains while you're at it. That's a great idea. Let's make some bars. That's a great idea, Aisha. Let's make some bars. We've already got the iron. Let's see. Uh, where are the bars? Here they are. The iron bars. 16 of those. What we'll do is we'll... Love that idea. Here are the iron bars. We'll see what they look like around the bed. We'll see what the iron bars actually look like around the bed. Um, let's just get rid of these really quick. And we'll see what happens if we replace them with iron bars. I feel like that might be a really cool look. Okay, so we'll grab these and... Oh. Oh, I see that. Oh, I see that. Can we... Oh, we can stack them. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. And then we... Oh. Oh, I see that. Oh, I see that. Do you see that? Oh, I see that. I see that. Keep that on the headboard. I see that. We're like a little headboard. We've got a... Can we t take one here? And then one here? Oh, I like that. Oh, that... That, 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 that looks nice. That looks nice. We get the polished stone to even it up. That would be good. That's good. That's good. We'll get some, like, black wool to put around the bed. We'll... Oh, this is nice. Okay, yes. Yes, 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 yes. This works. This works. I see the vision. Thank you, Aisha. That was a wonderful idea. Caged in evil, yes. Well, no, no, no. The po the, the idea is that there are there are potential, like, attach points, you know? That's that's the idea here. Like, you, 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 you'll get it. You'll get it. You'll get it. That'll work. And then we can get the, the wool for the floor. So we're just going to go shear a bunch of sheep. We'll put some of this in here and... You're welcome. See, you try you, you try and turn around and correct me and it just makes me worse. You, It's just it's just doing it. We're doing our thing. We're doing our thing. We're do, we, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. You can trust me. You can trust me. Everything's going to work out all right in the end. I promise. I promise. Let's make a... Let's have a water feature. I want a water feature. Let's have a water feature. I want a water feature to go in my bedroom. I feel like a water feature is hot. Do you guys like water features? I feel like a water feature would be such a good statement piece in that room. Oh, that would be so good. That would be so good. All right. Let's just head down. I don't think there are any... There are going to be sheep just laying about, I don't think. I think we do have to go on a bit of a journey for them. But... Oh, well. At least we've got water right there. Also, are there any creepers? I don't know why, but I'm conscious that there was one last night kind of milling about near where I was. There we go. See, at least we've got the shield if any creepers come up to us, because I think the shield, like, almost fully protects us, maybe? All right. Well, we have a road for a reason, don't we? We have a road for a reason. And the road will take us, I think, to sheep. At the very least, it's taking us through a forest biome where the sheep are more common. I'm wondering what animal would present itself as my as my new companion. Maybe we'll just get a... I bet we'll get something weird, like a bee. I bet, I bet a bee will be like, can I be your pet? And I'll be like, sure, sure. The first animal that can be made a companion that I see, I will treat it as like destiny bringing us together. I'll just build a little, a little cage around it and, and, and feed it whatever food it needs to like me. Here we go. Does anyone, anyone have any sheep? Anyone have any sheep? No sheep. What if I made a little boat and rode out somewhere where I did see sheep? That would be nice. 
Also, I had an idea. I had an idea, everyone. I had an idea. Because I was trying to turn around. I was trying to, like, think of things to do for when I hit 20k. Because I'm about to hit 20... Uh, I'm about to hit 18 now. And that sort of leaves me two off. And I'd like to try and hit 20k around my birthday, right? And I know that at the same time, the, the Dark Overlords have been... When I say breathing down my neck, I mean breathing down my neck. About me doing a karaoke stream sometime soon. And I was thinking, maybe if I hit 20k, I could, I could do, uh, I could, I could do, um, I, I could do a karaoke. Oh yeah, I did just hit 18k. Okay, so fun fact, I did literally just hit 18k as I started the stream. So yay, yippee, hooray for me. Um, but, uh, <laughs> but I was thinking I could do a karaoke stream for that. So the sooner you guys get me to 20k, the sooner we're getting a karaoke stream. That's my commitment. I've committed to that now. I'll do a karaoke stream. I'll do all the bells and whistles. I'll even I'll even force Roscoe to help me with the uh with with like the setup and make sure that everything goes perfectly. Nice smooth and it'll be all my favorite songs because the Dark Overlords were like, "Oh, well, you'll sing in Japanese, right?" And I'm like, "Listen. Listen. I can barely speak in English, let alone sing in Japanese." <laughs> and, you know, uh that's That's great. That's great. Um, his home is so nice. <clears throat> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a grown up, I swear. I swear I'm a grown up. <laughs> uh, very so second circle of the under. Oh, that's a high peak. I'm just sort of going to going to dash along here until. Actually, wait a second. If I go too far, I won't be able to find my way back. Wait, wait. If I go too far, I won't be able to find my way back. I should handrail the coast. Handrailing the coast is probably the smart thing to do here. No, no, no. I, had, I, I was like, oh, I'm going on an adventure. And then I realized, wait a second. If I get lost, there's no coming back. <laughs> I'm sure. Gonna ask my uncle's third kid and their relatives to... Oh, 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 so, okay, so there's going to be another Incubus Confessional next week, so uh, next week is literally, like, I, I really want to try and push hard to get to, like, the 20k mark, because I, I really want to, and the thing is, like, I'm doing, like, another Incubus Confessional next week, I'm making it, like, a week full of events, and the thing is, I, mm, when I tell you that there was something spicy in the Incubus Confessional, there was something spicy, like, that, so spicy, like insanely spicy and and like it, it's one of those ones where i've been thinking about it ever since i saw it and like it's 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 one of the it's it's one of the the the, the 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 cousin ones right it's one of the cousin ones however it's one of those ones where like i i don't know which viewer needed to hear this but like you you are in such a unique situation you're in such a unique situation it's insane I did not think I did not think that I that this would be one of those. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Lots of lava. We can't mine obsidian with iron, can we? It has to be it has to be diamond, doesn't it? I think that's that's the case. Oof. I think that's the case. Yeah, only diamond pickaxe can get this stuff. That's a shame. Oh well. Oh well. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We we did our thing. Ooh. Yeah, no, I, I'm 100% doing a part two of Incubus Confessional. I'm making it like a regular thing, like the Incubus Confessional. I think that would be really cute. But no, I was... I was I was thrown through a loop though, because like essentially, I like to to I, I don't want to say like the exact like details of it right now, but essentially, the, the this person went out with the person, and then they didn't realize that they were like related until after they'd already been di been together for a while, and I was like, oh, 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 well, that's just awkward.
we've got a boat here. Who put... What did someone stop here for? Awkward, awkward. I read that in a manga. Right, right, right. Imagine unintentionally dating a family member. Right. Like, that must be such an awkward feeling. Just be like, oops, oops. There's a sheep. There's a sheep. There's other sheep. There's... Okay, we found sheep. We found many much sheep. I feel like this was an unnecessarily long journey to find sheep, but also it never hurts to build homes and like have little places that you know in, in other biomes. Hello, sheep. I don't wish to hurt you. I wish to take your wool, Mr. Sheep. Or Madam Sheep. I don't wish to make assumptions. Now, uh, do 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 do. Ah, here we go. Okay, okay. Uh, hello, hello, individual. Thank you for your wool. I appreciate you. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Let's climb to the top of this hill and see what there is to see. Oh, this is marshland? Oh, this stone. Alpacas? Oh, what? Oh, that's diorite, isn't it? Oh! Oh, wait, have we have we found a good place? Give me your wool. Oh, this is... Oh, we've... We've kind of cashed out. Let's go! Oh, this is wonderful. We found exactly what we needed, where we needed it. Look at all these sheep. Look at all those chickens. Oh, black sheep, thank you. Is this a quarry? Oh, thank you. Look at this play. This is quite... Alpacas! Can we get alpaca wool? Alpaca. Hi, hi. Meh. Can I... No? No alpaca wool. That's a shame. That's a shame. I used to live near an alpaca sanctuary when I was... For a time. Alpaca sanctuaries are great. Oh, so there's just lots of... We have enough. Let's quickly make a crafting table. I swear, half this game is just quickly making crafting tables because you've managed to get yourself caught out and it's almost night time. Uh, crafting table, and then torches, and go bup, bubbity bup, and then make me a quick bed, please. White bed, go here. And then sleep before I get jumped. Good, good. No jumps for me. No one gets, no, I don't get jumped tonight. Uh, okay. And I think that should be, should be all of them. We've gathered so much wool, we could make Ugg boots. <laughs> uh, alpaca is my pet? I, I don't know. I don't think we can transport the alpaca to where, back home, because we're, we're kind of an ocean away. Hmm. 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 What is... Oh. Gravel. Huh. Hello? Huh. That is... That is what I think it is, isn't it? Andesonite. Oh, it's andesonite. Wait, isn't there a thing we can build with andesonite? I'm, I'm like 46% sure there's something we can build with Antonite that I like the look of. Either that or I'm gaslighting myself, which I could be doing, you know. Antonite slabs? Oh, oh yes, we could make actual like Antonite blocks, but didn't... Was there a polished Antonite? Yes, there was. And I kind of like the look of it. Okay, okay, we'll go gather the Antonite and then... Oh, more sheep. Come here, come here, come here, sheep. Come here, come here. Come here, come to come come to daddy, come to daddy. There you go, good sheepy sheep. Okay, good you go, there you go. Thank you for the wool, aren't you a good little sheep? Oh, oh is that diorite? Have we found diorite? Have we struck diorite? Oh, this is a great place. Oh, we're not telling the other boys about this place. This place is great. Is that, is that diorite? 
<laughs> That's diorite. Yes, I love diorite. You guys know I love diorite. Diorite's one of my favorite blocks. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Diorite, diorite, di 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 diorite. When I need something in life, I turn around and get some diorite. Diorite, diorite. When life just needs to feel right. I stop in my tracks and I look to the light and I get myself some diorite. There we go, there we go, there we go. <laughs> All the diorite we could need. This is good. We're going to build a polished diorite bit of the club and it's going to be good. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Diorite. Uh, diorite. 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 Ooh, new pickaxe time. Ooh. Ooh, and caves as well. Ooh. Oh, sh are they coming this way? Go over there. Go, go over there. Go, go over there. Go, go over there. Go over there. Go over. Okay, this is a lovely place. Not sure about the not sure about the locals in the neighborhood, but you know, I think this place has potential. Definitely, definitely has potential. More sheep. Let's go. Let's go, look at all of you. Look at all these sheep, they're so good. Hey, sheepy sheep. Give me some wool. Thank you, sheepy sheep. Hey, sheepy sheep, you got some wool for me, sheepy sheep? Damn straight you do. Look at you, look at you, you little adorable sheep. Black sheep. Let's go. Okay, beautiful. Look at these little guys. Look at these little dudes. <laughs> oh, I love this. Sheep. Whoop. Thank you. There are so many sheep. How much wool do we have right now? Is that 36 wool? 36 wool, that's wonderful. We're gonna build such a good little interior design on our home. Oh, and there's iron just at the surface level here. Is, is there like a, a name for this kind of place? Chat, is there is there a name for for like the, the places where there just happens to be like, like, you know, this kind of stuff. Like there's iron on the surface, there's lots of rock on the surface. Is there is, is there a name? Like, is it is it? Is, is that a thing? I feel like there's like a specific... It's called streamer loot. I... <laughs> no, no, I mean like that. It's, is, this isn't a streamer loot thing. This isn't like a streamer, streamer luck thing or a streamer loot thing. This is like just an actual place, isn't it? Like, it, like this isn't like a lucky place, is it? I'd, I'd be more surprised if I just walked into a quarry and found diamonds, you know? That, that would be like streamer loot. That was so aggressive. Um, F3, you can check with F3. Towards negative block facing east, towards positive. Uh, vanilla. <laughs> Difficulty unknown. I don't know. <laughs> Convenience loot. Conven streamer loot. Streamer loot. Windswept hills. Windswept hill. Oh, I like that name. I like that name. Okay, I like windswept hills. That sounds cool. That sounds really, really cool. <laughs> uh, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I feel like that's half the charm, you know? It's kind of it's kind of like the Dark Overlord. They have no idea what their plans would be are for the future, but we're just going along with it. <laughs> we're just making it up as we go along. Over to here, and it's oddly charming. Here we go, and <laughs> just balling, just balling. Literally, it's like, listen, listen, there's no idea what's ahead. We got no idea what, what, what like, 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 we don't need to know what the plan is. Because the plan is that we're just going to have fun. And we've got some cool rocks, okay? We've got some stuff from the geology department. Did you guys ever, okay, okay, okay. So I had, I had a relative, right, that studied geology, okay? He got a degree in geology, right? 
and and you know i i asked him you know i asked him this was this was one of the this is one of the things that like absolutely frustrated me with my family i was like you know uh are you so what are you going to use your your degree in geology for are you going to become a scientist or a geologist maybe you were going to take it into maybe meteorology and it's like nah i think i'll work at a convenience store i'm like bruh bruh why did you get why did you get it why did you why did you, why 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 it's a, it's a, you 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 went to G you, you went to G and and he he still does he he still works at a convenience store and like he he's like you know like why did you why did you get the degree it was like I wanted a good time at uni and I'm like I I, I get that you you wanted a good time at uni sir I get that you wanted a good time at university but like there are cheaper ways to go have a good time for three years than than, than to go get a degree and it's so much less work. <laughs> Look at all these sheep. Look at these guys. Maybe I should become a sheep herder. I don't know. I don't know if you can make sheep follow you, though. Maybe you have to feed them wheat or something. Okay, that should be enough wool, I think. 49. One of my majors is engineering. I learned so much about geology and different rocks. My friends are annoyed because I always lecture them about stones. Okay, so... Uh, my mother it's 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 a weird thing okay so so mother netherbrand she's not got a thing about geology well she does have a thing about geology and rocks she loves like collecting different like um like like stuff like amethysts and like did and like cat's eye and different different uh different like kind of weird naturally occurring crystal formations and stuff like that and she's like she's one of those people who's like really into that and I have just, like, through osmosis, I have gently learned more about rocks than I really needed to as a person. And I'm like, great, great, great. I now know how much a, a big chunk of amethyst goes for in a store. Which is crazy, because there are people who... I, I only discovered this recently, actually. There are uh, people who actually turn around and make their living, like, like, betting on rocks. So, what they do, what they do is they go to these auctions and it's where these like large uncracked open rocks and gemstones are right and they get people to bet on them before they crack them open to speculate on the potential price okay and they turn around and this is a really interesting thing because like it's like you, you know um like storage hunters where people bet on 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 storage lockers it's the same but with uncracked geodes and people don't know what they are or what's in them right so they go to these big auctions and people drop like literally thousands on like uncracked geodes and rocks that could have amethyst formations inside or something like that right and they drop huge amounts of money huge amounts of money on them and they turn around and, you know, people like make and crack open one of these these geodes and it could be like a really unique amethyst or or amber cat's eye or something like that formation inside. And they could be like, oh, well, I paid, you know, uh, like like two two thousand pounds for this or two thousand dollars for this for this rock. And uh, now it's been cracked open. Uh, and it's got this really unique formation and there's like a certain amount of marbling in the interior of the rock. It's actually going like the individual pieces will be able to be sold for a collective $10,000. And I'm like, what? What? And then there are times where like they turn around and they crack it open and it's like empty or it's filled with like water. And they're like, this is terrible. I've just lost 10 grand betting on this rock. I've just lost 10 grand. And I'm like, imagine having to come home and tell your partner, hey, I just lost ten thousand dollars betting on rocks. I just, I just lost ten grand betting on rocks. And and the thing is, they never change. They come straight back. They come straight back. No risk, no fun. I guess. I just find it so interesting because there are like so many unique little ways that people hustle to get things. And you know, I, I, I don't know. It never occurred to me that people had to have obviously found those rocks and and cracked them open and decided that you know they're going to sell them. And even, like, the rock auctions seem so interesting, you know? I don't know. I, I... Okay, so this is something I did the other night. So I was telling you about my Nigerian friends last time that we spoke. So I got separated by my Nigerian from my Nigerian friends in the language class because apparently when we're all together, we cause disruptions in the class. 
<laughs> apparently we're disruptive learners when we're all together which is which is great love that for us but um pretty much i i had to sit away so i made these two new friends i made these two new friends with the people that i sat next to uh and they were from some some somewhere vaguely in the middle east and um pretty much they've turned around now and we've all become very quickly buddy buddy and um and as a result uh we turned around and we were like oh let's let's go do something together after Ooh. whoa let's all go do something together after class right i was like let's let's go let's go do something because obviously i'm i'm the type of person where if i'm like in a, in a class with new people i'll be like okay let's go let's go let's go out and do something let's let's, let's have some fun so uh i did that and they're like we don't know what to do so we saw like some sort of event happening in a cafe right so we walked in and we just sort of went in and i was like okay guys let's just pretend like we belong here because this is very clearly like a grown-up adult event and let's see what's going on and we went and we like got coffee and we started mixing with people trying to figure out what this event was because it was very clearly like somewhere you have to dress nice and there i was in my leather jacket looking a little scruffy around the edges and i'm like you know i'm i'm really just here to you know network and see what's going on you know i'm very i'm very interested in what this can do for me sort of careers like oh interesting interesting so so you're interested in taking part in the startup too and I'm like the st the startup like yeah yes yes like yeah the idea is that we're we're all here together because we're interested in a business startup and we're taking uh we're taking what was it financial stock contribution takes today and I was like oh oh you're you're expecting me to sign checks here for financial contributions towards a startup oh oh that's lovely I'm not going to do that so uh yes i i myself and my friends took their coffee took their biscuits took their cookies took the food the free fruit uh, the free fruit the free food spread that they had out <laughs> we just ate like a, a fair little bit of it and then we were like okay we're not giving any money to this random startup we found in a cafe <laughs> because they were like we want to make a Facebook, and I'm like, okay, what, what is it? Because their their concept was uh, was was hilarious. Okay, like, like there was this dude. Okay, he was there. Think like 2004 Mark Zuckerberg with like the little the little like the little like scruffy like looking like he was just out of uni, but somehow being simultaneously in his 30s, and he was like, we want to make, we, wait, wait, let me do let me do the thing. I need to look a little bit more soulless for Mark Zuckerberg. <clears throat> We want to make a Facebook, but not just just a Facebook. We want to make a Facebook for young professionals that's down, that's hip, that's cool. Something that young professionals will feel enthusiastic about. Now, like you, like, like LinkedIn, sir, like like LinkedIn. It's like, think, think LinkedIn, but with a stronger emphasis on the uh, social element. And I'm like, I'm like, that's so interesting, sir. Excuse me. I just need to stand over here where you're not. <laughs> so, yes, I almost got zucked. I almost got zucked, which was interesting. I don't think I can ever return to that cafe. I almost got the Zuck. Zanderberg. Dude, finishing my degree in finance, my professor had a similar experience freaking out on startups. Lamau. No, I swear, like, like it's it's like 90% of them are scams. I'm sure that like 99.8% of them are just abject scams. I'm sure of it. it, it there's no way it can't be. Because I was like, I was like, okay, how much is the financial contribution that, that you guys want? Because I was like, oh, you know, may, maybe, maybe this could be a thing, right? And they're like, oh, it's just a small amount, you know, we're just looking for maybe $15,000 to get into the ground floor. And I'm like, what? 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 Just $15,000 to get in on the ground floor? Just 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 fifteen thousand dollars for for the ground floor of this. <laughs> uh.
<laughs> just fifteen thousand dollars to get in on the ground floor of this incredible startup opportunity. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh no, oh no, 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 sir, no, 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 no. This incubus plays rough, but he does not play like that. Um. Ooh. Ooh. So yeah, I wandered into a I wandered into an expensive startup meeting after my language class because my goodness, I was like, what what is this? And why are you doing like 15k startups in a chain coffee store in a chain coffee store? Like this was not this was this is like this was a chain coffee store. This was like some some random ass chain coffee store that we walked into. And they were like, oh, yeah, we're going to change the world with this. We're going to change the world. We're going to change the world. Polished diorite. There we go. Okay. All the polished diorite. There we go. Okay. 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 So now we're going to take the polished diorite. And... What did I even want the polished diorite for? <laughs> what did I want the polished diorite for again? Wait, wait, did I need to do a thing with it? I've, I've got 64. It takes a lot of diorite. Um, actually, how does the polished diorite look next to it? That looks really nice. Okay, but it's more than 64 to replace all these blocks. Indeed, indeed. I'm taking language lessons to learn to speak Polish. What can I say? Acquiring new languages is somewhat of a hobby. Although I'm terrible at all of them and I lack the staying power to... I lack the, that feeling when um, you want to learn more languages but you lack the staying power. Three, oh, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, guys. Wait a minute. 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 Oh, so the reason is that I have a lot of Eastern European friends, and I wanted to learn how to speak some of their language, and it's it's just chill. And at the same time as well, um, I usually make trips sort of in that direction, maybe a couple of times a year, just because of the fact that I have a lot of friends over there. So I've tried to pick up a little bit. It's such a, it's such a weirdly like difficult language to learn, but it's also one of those ones where I find the difficulty somewhat engaging. That and the fact that the language teacher is like very nice, you know, and I figured why not? It, it, it feels very strange to be like kind of an adult in this day and age that, especially in this particular industry that I'm in, that doesn't have a, at least maybe a second language or maybe something else they can draw upon. Let's... That's too high. I, oh, uh, no, 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 wait, no, no, ah, 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 water damage, water damage, water damage, um, ah, 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 um, uh, 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 a uh, 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 bucket. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Okay. Okay, that was maybe a little bit silly of us. That was maybe a little bit silly of us. But I once stayed in this. In this. Okay. So I once stayed in this apart hotel, right? Um, which is like a hotel apartment. And... Uh, what we'll do... What we'll do... I love how it's leaking and he does sus noise here. <laughs> Everyone says my noises are sus. They're not sus, okay? I'm adorable. I'm a sweet, innocent incubus. No, I'm not. That's, that's a filthy lie and I know it. Um... We'll just, we'll just have a quick nap. Okay. When we wake up in the morning, everything's going to be better. That's what I tell myself sometimes. When I wake up in the morning, everything's going to be better. We're going to like, what if we got the little, little slabs? You know the little slabs? Um, 
polished diorite slab. Here we go. Here we go. So we'll grab a little polished diorite slab and we'll put this here and we'll put this here. And what do we need to stack? We need to stack something on top of each other. Because Okay, okay, okay. So we've got the polished diorite slab. Okay, this is what I'm thinking, everyone. This is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm thinking. I have a big brain. I have a big, sexy brain. Um, we need three more. Uh, yeah, another polished diorite slab. Because that's only three. Okay. My my big my big sexy brain is working over time, um, and we will put the slab down here, and then we'll put the water bucket in, and I mean I guess that works. Hey kite, hello kite, what's up, dude? <laughs> Is that is that is that Mr. Is that Mr. Kite Hasagawa? Is that is that is that Mr. Is that is that okay? I don't see any leaking in the ceiling. That's good. Hey, kite! Wait, kite, kite! Come, come back, come back! Kite, I love how as soon as I do sus noises, kite just gets summoned. That's just such a classic thing. That's such a that's such a kite thing. Kite just arrives as soon as sus noises are made. Stupid horny dragon boy. <laughs> uh. Okay, we will we will grab some more water. And we don't actually need to worry about lava because there's lava right by our house now. So we could do these buckets of water kind of I'll grab one of these. And put this here. Here. Here, the kite calling. <laughs> Aisha, thank you for the super. Thank you, thank you. Yes, yeah, look, look, I know what he is. I know what he is. And then, whoop, there we go. Okay, we'll worry about the lava another time. We'll worry about the lava another. Actually, we will do this. Actually, we'll pick it up later. We'll pick up the lava later. We'll... <laughs> Says the one with the cage. How long has he been watching? <laughs> Says the one with the cage. Wait, let me let me quickly mod you so I I don't miss any of your messages, guy. Let me quickly mod you. Here you go. Let me quickly give you. Let me quickly give you moderator. There we go. There we go and. Add as moderator, standard moderator. I don't want to make you a managing moderator, then you can just delete my channel. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Okay, okay. Kite is a moderator now. Alright, welcome welcome to the gang, Kite. Now I'll never miss your messages. Actually, Mary did like the exact same thing for me last night. I stopped by his persona stream and was like, we have to make you a mod so your messages aren't mixed. Okay. Okay, this is like a little hot tub. Okay, that's good. That's good. We could add like some some little lily pads to the that's good. That's gonna be good. That's gonna be good. It's gonna be it's gonna be hot. Okay? Because obviously we need a water feature. Obvious Oh, maybe we could even build like some some diorite stuff on the side and make it all all really good. And I'm allowed a caged bed, by the way. I'm allowed a caged bed. I'm a grown ass man. If I want to sleep in a cage bed, I'll sleep in a cage bed. If I want to sleep in a racing car bed, I'll sleep in a racing car bed, okay? It's up to me. It's up to me what kind of bed I want to sleep in. Okay? I love your prison. It's not a prison. It's not a prison. It's not a prison. It's a perfect... It's... 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 it's, it's it's, it's, it's a place. It's a place. Racing car bed sounds fun. Okay, but a racing car bed is great. I never had one of those as a child. Did any of you have, like, themed beds as a kid? Because I never had one. I never had a themed bed as a child. I literally got, like, just, just a normal, like, grown-up bed straight away. There we go. N nope. Nope. Never. 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 Nah. Nah? Wait, what? 
I sleep in a big bed with my wife. Was that a Simpsons reference in 2024? Was that a Simpsons? Did someone just make a Simpsons reference in 2024? Shout out the man who I dated one time who didn't actually leave his house and just always watch The Simpsons for hours in the evenings. If it's consensual, it's not a prison. Exactly, it's consensual imprisonment. It's timeless. The Simpsons is not timeless. No, I will, I will fight on that one. Okay, anything after season 13, it, oof, oof, you, you're gonna, you're gonna have trouble selling me on that one. You're gonna have trouble selling me on that one. It may have predicted the future, but it couldn't predict its own downfall in quality. <laughs> I had a count as a child. Okay. Themed also neurotic. Thank you for the super, by the way. Thank you for the super. I was getting hot under the collar over the concept of the Simpsons being considered, you know, good still. But yes, it is consensual. It's always consensual. I might be an incubus, but that's always the moment. But consent is always important. <laughs> uh, okay, we're going to go this way. Oh, beautiful Zanny. I know. I was thinking I'll grab two more buckets of water. I do wonder where that creeper went that was stalking me outside my house. I wonder if it just like despawned or died or something. All right, this is gonna be pretty. This is gonna be so pretty. I need to add like a lava fall as well to my house. You know, you know what? You know what? I feel like I need a statement piece. I need a statement piece to tell all of the other boys that I'm here. Something that, that tells them that I'm awesome. Maybe we should add a lava fall to the house. Just as a little a little statement, you know? The bed isn't enough of a statement. No, 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 the ble the bed is the closing act, okay? The lava waterfall that I'm about to build is going to be the strong opener that gets people into the bed. Don't burn my house down. I can't promise. I can't promise. But. We need to put some stuff in the chest in the corner. Let's just quickly put some stuff in the chest because we need to free up inventory space. Oh, we need more. Mm. We need more. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Where's wood? Where's wood? Give me wood. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's, let's get some wood. Uh, here's some wood. All right. We've got wood. Put this here, get another chest. Uh, you know, just put that there. The Anderson Knight can sit there for a second. And then we'll make a, a double chest, right? Yes, there's the double chest. Good, so much more space, so much more room. Euphoria. Uh, this can go This can go in there, and we don't need the diorite just yet. The gravel we don't need. The cobblestone stuff. We can just make this like a building material chest. This can be a chest of just like building materials and odds and ends that we don't really need at this time, but we might need in the future. I like that. I like that a lot for us. Okay. Okay, here we go. So, we're going to open this. Right, right. I have a plan. I have a plan. You're going to buy into this with me, okay? We're going to mine this. Then... We're going to take a step to the right and put the bucket of lava there. And then we'll put the fence back up. That's good, that's good. I feel like a, and then what we'll do is we'll take a quick trip to the beach. Let's go to the beach, beach, let's all fly away. Uh, and pick up another bucket of lava from the beach. And no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. We've already burnt the trees there, I think. We've already, we've already done irreparable damage to the nature biome. Actually, we might have not needed two. Maybe we only needed one. Let's have a look. Oh, the sun's going down. We'll have a look in the morning then. I don't know, that's a by three. Huh. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. 
The trees have been through enough trauma. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Cass is soothing them. Okay, Cass is soothing them. Cass is turning around and saying, you know, uh, that, 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 yeah, that I'm a good demon. He, that's what he's doing. He's telling the trees I'm a good demon. You know, I'm still, I'm still trying to prove to everyone that I'm a good demon. I still have to turn around to get everyone and go, hey, listen, listen, listen. I'm not like those other demons before, okay? Okay, I promise I'm a good one, okay? I promise. I promise. I, I promise I'm going to be here. At the end of the day, I have a promise to stay. You know, got to, got to be a good demon. I don't like how that looks. I changed my mind. Hey, Barry. Barry just woke up. No thoughts, head empty, but good morning, Zanny. Lovely to see you, Barry. Good morning, good morning. Get yourself a cup of coffee or whatever your morning drink of choice is. Kick back and relax while we do some Minecraft. Sometimes we craft a mine, other times we mine to craft. All I know is that I'm having an absolute wonderful, cozy time with you. I can't believe it's Sunday. I can't believe it's Sunday. I can't, be it's, it's Sunday. Okay, so guys, I want, I'm going to tell you a guilty pleasure of mine. Do you think you're ready? to hear about Incubus's guilty pleasure. And when I say guilty pleasure, I mean it is one of my guiltiest pleasures. It is one of the things I absolutely adore the most, okay? It's one of the, one of the, um, it's one of my, one of my things that I have a weakness for, okay? You know how I told you how, 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 uh, Incubi are kind of like Shinigami, how they, how they love, how Shinigami love apples and Incubus love oranges? There's one thing that I, I have such a craving for and when i say craving it's an uncontrollable lust like when when i think of it i can't help but salivate and just want to tear into it okay i are you ready i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you hawaiian food hawaiian food i have such a weakness for hawaiian food i I have such a weakness for Hawaiian food. And I'm having some tonight. And oh, I love it so much. Oh my goodness. Like I I I cannot overstate how much I love Hawaiian food. I it, it would be impossible for me to overstate how much I love Hawaiian food. It's so good and oh I, I adore it. Like it's 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 so nice. It's so nice. What's Hawaiian food? Okay, so it's very like it's very um I don't know how to describe the the cooking style. It's it's almost like a very cool fusion cooking style of think of like the some of the homeliness of kind of classic American cooking, but also blended with like certain I, I want to say elements of almost like uh almost Asian cuisine in certain in certain points, with like these very delicious kind of uh these very delicious like poi bowls and stuff like that, and these like wonderful like homey homey flavors it's so good oh my goodness and i'm having some tonight and just just the the idea the idea of it is sending me the idea is sending me oh loco moco loco moco i love good loco moco oh, i'll take this okay we've got another bucket help i heard boy balls what wait <laughs> What? I didn't hear anything. I didn't. I didn't say anything about boy balls. <laughs> boy balls. Oh, oh, that's the poke. Po there we go. Boy ball. Boy balls. That was like the sussiest thing to like say. It's like, hey, did someone speak about uh, boy balls? Anyone got the, anyone interested in boy balls? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no oh no it's a beautiful mixture of traditional hawaiian filipino japanese korean etc food it's so good it's kind of like i swear hawaiian food is just like the op version of food where it takes the best of all of kind of the immediate cultures and like cuisines surrounding it and just rolls it into like the best thing possible like bruh it's great 
phenomenal, in fact. Phenomenal, 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 phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, if there's one thing this incubus loves ever since coming to the human world, it's the food. The food is so good. Sounds like something Gail would say. Gail, Gail is so saucy. I need to bring Gail on here again. I gotta keep drag. I keep wanting to drag Gail on. He's I, okay. So I adore Gail. You guys know I'm very open to Gail. Gail and I are open about how much we fucking adore each other. And bro, I, I, it's just, it's great. It's great. There we go. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Do you guys like this? I think this is great. Um. Hmm. <clears throat> um. I like that. I like that. Yeah, yeah, that does look nice. I'm thinking like the we're going to cover most of this floor with wool if we can. You know, to make it nice and uh, and like sweet. And I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking we could like. I don't know where, where my, 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 my mind is going at this moment, but my head is somewhere, well, it's usually somewhere in the gutter, but um, it's somewhere in the region of wanting to dye wool. Yeah, red, red, red. I want red flowers so we can dye the wool red because red carpet would be really hot and I love red. That sounded even more sussy. It is sussy. Do I enjoy musicals? Yes, yes I do. I've been in several. Um, I've had, I had my time in, in, in the sun as it were. Okay, we're going... Zanny's brain had an AOL dial moment. My brain lives on AOL. My brain is still running, like, Windows XP. My brain is running, uh, Windows XP. Actually, we did need to... Where are the red poppies? So we're going to go look for poppies. And then we're going to turn it into a lovely farm. Hey, first ever super chat. Lisa M, wishing a lovely Sunday to you in chat. Thank you so much for the comfy streams and keeping me company while I prepare to move to move out on my own. Hey, congratulations. Okay, huge congratulations, Lisa, for preparing to move out on your own. That is a huge step. That is a huge, huge step. And I wanted to say, I, weird of me to say, but I, like super proud okay it's awesome and of course a huge thank you for your first ever super chat i really really appreciate it i know you're going to do awesome i know you're going to decorate your first place really really well as well i know that you probably have phenomenal taste you've probably got your if you're anything like me you've probably already got a mood board of what you want your apartment to look like when you're ready set and ready to go and that you're going to just make the place so cozy I'm sure. Okay, congratulations, and I'm wishing you luck for, for all that's ahead. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, I got super affectionate about that. I'm... Look at me. No, no, I'm a, t I'm a big scary demon. Big scary demon. Ra, ra, uh, ra, uh, ra, big scary demon. Uh, lava scares me. Lava scares me, too. <laughs> ra, I'm a big scary demon. Yes, rar. Don't you rar me? Okay, <clears throat> I don't rar. I don't. Don't rar. I don't. I don't. I don't rar cutely. Okay, I could drop it. I could. Okay. Okay. One second. <clears throat> <clears throat> rar. There. 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 There's a raw that's not cute. How's that? That's not a raw that's cute. That's a far deeper, darker, lower raw. How's that? That's somewhere far deep down in the register. How's that? That's far better, isn't it? Okay, raw. I'm going to tear your insides out, human, and turn you inside out. How's that? Mooney the Spoonie, of course you are. You're our big, scary, good boy. Stop it. <laughs> Thank you, Mooney the Spoonie, for the super. Okay? Okay. 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 You jump scared me too hard. Okay, but I once had to prove that I wasn't using a voice changer and that's actually my voice. <laughs> but thank you so much. Listen, I'm a big scary demon. Okay, that proves it. 
That's not scary. That's just yes, sir. <laughs> No, it's read. No, okay. It's just where you position. Okay, okay. It's just where you position the voice in the body. Okay, okay. It's really easy. You start off. You, normally, I try and talk a little bit from the chest or like a little bit from the mouth or throat or whatever. But then it's really easy to just gently take it down and down and down and down and down until it's somewhere around here, and then you're just sort of talking from somewhere in the in the chest or deeper in your core and then you're saying something about how I'm going to take over the world and eat people and, and, and all that stuff and raw, raw you know, raw <laughs> see <laughs> you're adorable to scaraw to scaraw <laughs> look there's method in the madness okay there's method in the madness. Tr trust me, trust me. The days feel so short in Minecraft. Where's the... Dick and balls. Nanone and Yura. Show off. He's got all the... Okay, Gail has all the diamonds. I'm so jealous. <laughs> yeah. I'm feeling many emotions. None of them are fear. I mean, you just, you just do the thing. You just, you just do the thing with the, what is the, oh, a stone cutter. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. We can shove things on a stone cutter. Oh, well, that's useful. Oh, repair and make. Okay, so there's a repair block and there's a. Okay, cute. Cute, 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 cute. Okay, thanks for letting me sleep in your house, Gail. He wouldn't have minded. I've slept there before. So, uh, here we go. We're gonna we're gonna go paddle and find ourselves somewhere with lots of lots of red. <laughs> the Netherlings inner demons are coming out. The boat has some zoomies. Good morning, good morning to those just joining the stream. Lovely to see you here. <laughs> yeah. You fear, I fear you've just generated several entries for your next confession stream. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's strangely like the, the doing the voices thing just came really naturally to me ever since I was a kid. It's an incubus thing, actually. We're able to change little parts of ourselves. Um, Shapeshifting is a huge part of the game, you know, but... Uh, it's it's a thing. It's a thing. You know, you just sort of you sort of sort of drop the voice here and there. It's like how I taught Roscoe how to do a Neko voice on that. On that. I, I don't know if anyone's seen the clip of me teaching Roscoe how to do a Neko voice, where you you do the thing and and it's uh yeah. <laughs> and it's 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 cute where you 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 throw the voice up and you're like, hello, <laughs> oh hello master. That one. That 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 one. You know. Um. It's cute. It's cute. Um, <laughs> I gotta get. I gotta get Roscoe to do that voice again. Especially the the, the cutesy little um. What's it? The the one that he did. The um. <clears throat> what do I call it? The uh the the, the 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 one that he did for Dill when we were all playing um. The the cat the the, the cat game. I gotta get him to do that. I my pl <laughs> my plan is to. My plan is to kidnap Roscoe and train him to only speak in the in the cute little dill voice. <laughs> That's the dream. That's the dream. We're gonna take Roscoe. We're gonna do that. I came back to Raw three and Raw side. I just watched that vod again. LMAO. I love that vod. That vod is one of my favorite favorite things on the channel. Oh, that's like a little drowned zombie, dude. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Okay, bye, dude. <laughs> Part two of Neko Para. I, I think if I have to do Neko Para, I don't think I could gather all of the boys together again. I don't think I could. It would have to be a Zanny solo outing. But I'm not opposed to a Zanny solo outing. I'm not. I'm never opposed to a solo outing. You know, a little bit of solo leveling, as it were. Plus, you know, we've still got the perms for it, so I might as I might as well turn around and and voice whatever whatever happens with Dill. Uh, 
no, 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 is that a trick them on white day? That okay, I'm actually gonna steal that as a joke on White Day though. When White Day happens, I'm gonna turn around and when everyone's like, oh you know why we're here, and I'm like, yes, we're doing the second part of the uh of the Necopara stream. All of you get ready. Put on your catboy voices. Roscoe, be ready to be dill again. Get over here, bottom. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're, that's what we're gonna do. You did Necopara? We did Necopara on Valentine's Day. It's on my channel, actually, if you if you have a little look back. We did Necopara Catboy's Paradise. We didn't finish the whole game, but we did up until the point where, like, it peels off and you have to choose one person. Which is fair. Like, that's probably the point where, like, it, 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 we wouldn't need all of the boys. But it was a really good little stream. It was so fun. It was a fun little Valentine's Day stream. I had to choose which one of the boys I would take. Um... I had to pick. I had to pick which cat boy was the boy for me. It was Dill. It was Dill. How could it not be Dill? Dill's phenomenal. He's so sweet and cute. He's so perfect. What the bloody hell? What is that? Is that like emeralds? Wait, should I be using sh should I be using stone? Wait, I shouldn't be using a stone pickaxe to mine emeralds, should I? Should I? I feel like maybe I should need I should use an iron one for that. Uh let me let me I don't know, my gut tells me to get an iron to get an iron pickaxe. My gut tells me to 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 get an iron pickaxe for that if it's emerald. Um Let me see. We've got the three slabs there. We've got Okay, we just need we need we need two of these for some sticks. Grab this. Get a little bundle and go with iron and go here and good. Okay. Emerald. Emerald. Okay, this is an emerald vein. Excuse me, that was my stomach rumbling. Oh! Oh, wow, is there an entire place down below? Let's have a little... Hello? Oh wow, this goes quite low. Do we have torches? Okay, we're... I'm curious about this one. Hello? Hola. Como estas? Bienvenue. Empty? Empty. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough, if that's what makes them happy. Typical. Typical. I expect we see some diamonds at the top of a hole. We expect to see something incredible down there. I was expecting a whole dungeon. Something filled with drama, intrigue, tension as it were. Instead, it's simply a little bit of water. <laughs> uh, typical. All, all talk and no action. All talk and no action, Minecraft. S typical. Typical. Step your game up. Step your game up. I was expecting to find something that blew me away. I was expecting to find uh, some, some, some absolute phenomenal stuff down there. Okay. Incredible. I was, I was expecting more. I was expecting more Minecraft. <laughs> no, we got a bunch of coal though. Plus the coal has XP inside, which is nice. I think the I appreciate the, the the coal XP. Smooth stone looks kind of good. It does. It does. It does. Hmm. Oh, and obviously the reason we came here, just for for anyone who 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 might have forgotten or is just joining now, excuse me, let me straighten up. Uh, 
I had terrible posture then. Oof, I was all twisty and bendy. Uh, for anyone who, who needs to know, we're gathering red flowers because we're going to make um, red uh, red wool floor carpet dye for floor carpet wool. That, that thing. What a, hello? What? This is so weird. There are like little, um, these are like little, little weird little tunnels that run everywhere, but they don't really go anywhere. They're just, they're just surface level tunnels. They're very, they're very, they're, they're, I don't know. I feel like they, what's the reasoning for this? We don't need yellow. I, I don't know. I don't like yellow as a decorative color. It feels too pick me, you know? Yellow is a deck, is not a, is not a color that I enjoy. Except for Gale. Gale is the, uh, Gale is like the, the, the one sort of like shade of yellow that I'm like, okay, okay, I like this. Okay, but that's just because of the fact that I associate it with the personality. I don't like it for like decorating. You know, it's too loud. It's too loud. Yellow is not a creative color. It's not. Neither is green. But you just have to think creatively. It's kind of crazy to think that that entire series ended up just being, like, got made off of one one guy or, like, a guy's concept that he put on Kickstarter. Then again, I've got to... St okay, I have to get back into the habit of kickstarting things. So I used to uh, actually do, like, a lot of Kickstarter things, and I'm currently kickstarting the MDMC uh, core rulebook. Because uh, the MDMC core rulebook or M MCDM or MCDM uh, core, core rulebook for TTRPGs. I'm currently, okay, so TTRPGs are like a giant passion of mine. They are a giant passion. I wrote my own. I'm creating that. Um, but I'm currently kickstarting that. And uh, I'm really excited to see how it turns out because it's a direct competitor to Dungeons and Dragons. And I really want that. I want a competitor so badly. But also Wizards of the Coast, if you're watching, sponsor me. I, I promise you, I promise you, Wizards of the Coast, if you're watching, sponsor me, okay? I will, I will, I will be a huge fundamental part of rehabbing your image. I promise. I promise. Trust the Incubus. Trust the Incubus. I will, I promise. I will rehab your PR. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Make me the face of Magic the Gathering. <laughs> <laughs> sponsor Zanny. I don't even know. I I feel like if you can just turn around and say sponsor me on stream, it never it never works, but it's more for the joke than anything. Could you imagine me actually being sponsored by a professional entity? That would actually be hilarious. <laughs> that would actually I would actually find that funny. Okay, here we go. Where Hail the Zan man. Hail the Zan the man. That would be crazy. It would be, hey, a zombie. Hey, zombie. Wait. Wait, come out into the light, zombie. Come out. Come out into the light. There you go. Look at you. You're burning. Look how dumb you are. Look at you, zombie. You can't even reach me. You just see me. You just see me and you're trying to get... Look at you. You bur... Look at you. Look at you. You're a joke. You're a joke. You're standing there. Look at that. <laughs> Sorry, I just need to hurl insults at the zombie. Oh, there's a creeper in there. But I kind of want to see what's what's under the hill. Skelly and Creeper. I don't see anything down there that's valuable, though. Because it's all just, like, a covered covered dirt, isn't it? So it's not a cave, it's just a... It looks like a piercing that's closed over. I don't know why, but, or, or, like, whenever I see these kind of, like, builds over, over little bits of dirt or mines or something, I'm always like, it's kind of, it kind of reminds me of just, like, a piercing that closed over. <laughs> POV, you're as... The funny thing is, I could make that. I could actually make Incubus degrades you as you're on fire. <laughs> Incubus just degrades you for 15 minutes straight. ASMR! Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. 
I need to move. I need to move. This is a bad place. This is a bad place. This is a bad place. Ooh, 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 ooh,
Okay, fine, fine. I can I can yap a little bit. It's why I'm able to keep up with Gail. Okay, but but it, it, listen, listen. Okay, Yapper Brand is 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 on point. Yapper Brand is most certainly on point. All right, the the cereal box. Yeah, there used to be. I, and the thing is, I remember there wasn't even. So so if if you want to know how how the state of video games has gone down in the last like 10, 15 years, okay, I remember. I got a video game in a cereal box, and it was half the game, and then they would turn around at the halfway point and say, hey, consider maybe buying the other half, and that was it. They would give you half a video game in a cereal box and tell you that this was yours now. Like, insane, insane. We, ha we, we did not know, we did not know the, the luxury we were living in. That's smart, right? Right? Right, they would turn around, they would give you half the video game on a disc in a cereal box. Okay, okay, now I'm done, now I'm done, now I'm done, now I'm done, now I'm done. Although I did actually uh, get a, a like, I can't remember what game it was, it was like Sega Superstars Tennis or something like that out of a cereal box, which was nice. Oh, that place looks high. Oh, I like the look of that place. Who wants to go exploring? Let's go exploring. I like the look of that place. That place looks evil. Big evil. There's iron up there as well. If you can't see. I have very good eyes. The sun is going down. What we'll do is we'll return here. We'll return here. I'm wondering, I kind of want to get all of the boys on some big dungeon expedition, you know? Do something like that at some point. That would be fun. Alright. We'll row our boat through the dark. Actually, I don't know where, we're, where, where home is right now. I think it's that way. I'm too young to remember the nostalgia. Zanny, I posted a drawing of you in touch staff style. I hope you'll see it because somehow I've had issues with my X account. No, 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 that's, that's a thing, okay? I don't know what's going on with X lately, right? But, like, I don't see the majority of, pe of stuff that people put in, like, Nail on the Incubus. You have to, like, double tag it with my, with my like, hashtags and a nether brand. And also nether, nether Riz as well. And, like, if, if, you, if you do have something that you, like super duper need me to see there is a um like there, there's the discord server and if you do send anything to to the discord server the the club nether brand discord server i don't run it i'm not like affiliated with it but the mods from that server do send me little care packages and they sort of go hey here's here's some stuff that we thought would be would be cool for you to see and then i look through it so so it's a, it's a, it's a thing it's a thing so if you if you do want me to like, guaranteed see something, uh, like double tag it with both my name and also Nether Nether Riz and also if it's like Nail on the Incubus, put that on there as well. Uh, but you have to double tag it with my name. You have to double tag it with my name, otherwise I won't see it. Um, where's home? But yeah, this is oh oh Nano Spectrum Nano Spectrum. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I was being rude. Uh, I learned of all I learned that all of Avalon are cute in their own ways, and I love it. Uh get yourselves a man as cute as them. Aw, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Indeed, indeed, indeed. But then again, you don't really need to get yourself a man as cute as them. You've already got me. <laughs> oh, this is this is this is the boat, I remember that. Tee hee, tee hee. <laughs> tee hee. Riz. Lo, you're okay, Zanny. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm always scared of being super rude. I like I okay, so whenever people like super, I always get so like flustered over it because I can't okay, because like it, it you know, it's it's a very 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 sweet thing to do, right? And it always and I always am worried that people will turn around and be like, "Oh, uh, like like oh, he doesn't he doesn't he, you know, there's not the proper amount of like, oh, thank you thank you there, right? So I'm always like super super like thankful and I'm always like very much eager to be like, "Okay, yes, yes, because I, you know, like it 
if you're not turning around and you're being like, thank you, then what are you doing this for? Because, like, you, like, people are being kind enough to, like, not only watch, but, like, support. And that kind of does, like, that's above and beyond, you know? It's above and beyond. It's stupid, you know? It, like, it's a, if you don't turn around and be like, yo, that's awesome, like, then, 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 then you're wrong. And, and you're very wrong. And it doesn't deserve just like a quick hey thanks whatever and like that's that's stupid okay anyone who does the stupid like oh hey thanks for the super bye like it's okay they suck uh they 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 they, they suck big time and it deserves like an actual moment. I'm sleeping in Cass's bed. Anyway, sorry that was my that was my moment. That was my moment. That was my little that was my little little streamer moment. Okay. No, don't even though, don't even. Someone like, someone like supered or like Aka, Aka supered a while back and like I almost cried on stream. And then it was like, I, that, that, that like messed me up for like, for like a little bit. Cause I'm like, cause I never expected, you know, Club Netherbrand to do as incredible as it has. And instead it's actually done really, really good. And I, I, I think I even said when I did my, my silly little, my little debut, I'm like, I have no expectations for this. This is just gonna, it'll be what it'll be and I'll see where things ebb and flow. And, you know, I'm, I'm gonna hope to make the most out of the opportunities that I'm given in this life. And there's Red. Uh, and, uh, yeah, no, no, seeing, seeing how warmly everyone's kind of embraced everything, it's, 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 it's definitely a thing. And we have a community now, there's a community and I love that. I'm gonna cry. This is so cute. Uh, no, no. Let me, let me, let me, let me. I've been, I've been too sweet. We need to change it back to horny. <laughs> Quick, let's, let's fix things. Let's, let's fix things. I'm off brand. I'm off brand. Um. I'm off brand. Uh, 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 uh. uh where's, where's? <laughs> Where's where's a cat boy? I need to fold him like a napkin. There we go. <laughs> so about the cage bed, <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to turn around and um, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to build a dungeon under my house and I'm going to call it the cat boy dungeon. And I'm just going to keep them there. <laughs> I'm going to build a cat boy dungeon under my house. That's what we're going to do. Oh, that would be such a good idea for a stream. We'll build a Catboy dungeon next stream. Next Minecraft stream, we're going to build a Catboy dungeon. <laughs> I feel like that's that's more than necessary. It's totally appropriate. <laughs> you know what? I'll even grab a picture from... Uh, I'll even grab a picture of Dill and put it on the thumbnail. <laughs> Ooh. You can do this, Danny. Just think of the little reaper. Oh, I do miss... I... Ah, okay. I'm so excited for the expansion for Day with Death, though. I'm very excited for that. I'm gonna have to see how that goes. I... And, okay. So did anyone see that, like... Okay, I don't mean to be, like, the, the, the lewd gentleman in the room, but I'm also the incubus. Did anyone see that, like, Day with Death? They've... They're, they're, they're adding an NSFW thing to it? They're... They're adding an NSFW patch to the to the to the new update. Did did anyone else like see 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 that? They said on Twitter that they're like adding an NSFW patch to the new update, and that's optional. And 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 that's mmm mmm. I I'm so torn. I'm so torn. I'm so torn. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I'm so hyped. <laughs> the real, no way in hell the NSFW patch can be streamed. No way in hell. The ceiling's leaking. But yes, I'm 
I'm very much uh, of the of the mindset where this is wonderful and terrible all at once, and I'm excited to see just where where the devs take it. There we go. That and I had absolutely no idea that they that, that, that they would they would willingly take it in that direction. That's an interesting one. Well, at least they know. At least they know. If they know, they know. Poor little Grimmy. Poor little Grimmy. <laughs> Poor little Grimmy. He's gonna be put through so much. He's gonna be put through through so bloody much. Okay, so we've got that. We've got the cage. We've got the. I think you would, can't you trade emeralds to like villagers or something i don't, I don't know we, we're learning we're learning new recipes um the ceiling's leaking i feel like that's something we should address another time for now though here we go block of emerald yeah you can okay and and they like trade you cool things but oh ooh, so we've got the we've got the gray carpet the white carpet can we not get the black carpet oh we need another bit of black wool okay 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 so what we'll do is we will, how do we, oh, what is that? Red dye. There we go. There we go. So what we'll do is we are going to collectively get all of the red dye. We're going to get all of the red dye. All of the red dye that we can. And then, and then we're going to, we're going to figure out how to get a red carpet. What is that? Purple dye. Where's the red carpet? Um, that's white carpet. Oh, would it be that we get white carpet and like red carpet and then we mix them together and then red dye? So we get like white dye, a right, white, white, yes. Oh, I'm so smart. Oh, I have such a big brain. Oh, I'm so big brain. Oh, I'm I have such a big brain. Oh, let's go. White I should have figured it out earlier. White plus red is something. Um here, but here we go. There we go. And then and then we add the carpet. And we put this here and then we put this here. And does it only give us 21? Yes, it only gives us 21, so we have to get as, much, as many flowers as we can red dye. That's okay, though. That's okay, though. So what we'll do is we will... Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's hot. We'll line this. And then one, two, three, four. Oh, we're going... Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Oh, look at that. We get the room in like shades of red and black. I know those are Lucy's colors, but fuck it. I, I, I listen, okay? I'm an incubus. Red, lust, get out of my way. Um, <laughs> that has to be the most resource intensive way to make red carpet. Wait, is there an easier way? Is there an, is there an easier way? There, there can't be an easier way. Like we there can't be an easier way. We, we need to just go find more flowers. It's my colors now. It's my colors now. I've taken the colors. They're mine. It does add that pizzazz, doesn't it? It's giving... It's giving your room 50 shades room colors. <laughs> please, I'm not gonna... Please, please, don't insult me. Don't insult me 50 shades room colors. I'm not that disappointing, am I? <laughs> I'm not that disappointing. I, am I go? Am I seriously as disappointingly vanilla as Fifty Shades? Am I re Am I really that disappointing? Who knows, oh, guys? Guys, I don't know. Maybe, maybe after um. Hey, hey guys, may, maybe after stream we we, we could um uh, ho ho hold hands m maybe um I'm sorry that's a silly thing for me to say what the, I'm I'm sorry I, I'm just I I don't know I... no like I'm that pff, that like I'm like that. 
<laughs> Fifty Shades. Fifty Shades. Some shame. Uh, uh, sorry, guys. I'm shy. <laughs> Why I'd be a bad boyfriend. Reason number 27. I'm shy. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, I can't. I can't. I'm terrible. I'm terrible. I'm not shy. I'll make friends with anyone who's left near me too long and I'll make them worse. What the hell? What is that? Oh, hello. Hey, uh, Anesta uh, Kostova. Uh, I'm late, but I just wanted to say that the whole mention of Eastern Europe made my whole day. Thank you so much. Hey, all good, all good, all good. Much love, much love. And of course, thank you for the super. Thank you for the super. Jenko about us all. All right, let's get home. Let's get home. It's getting dark. Guardian? What's a guardian? Ooh, guardian, yes. What's a guardian? Guardian jump scare. Huh. There was a creeper there. Let's leave that alone. I'm blushing. I'm blushing. Why are you blushing? <laughs> wait, wait. Why are people are blushing? Sleep, Zanny. I'm on my way to sleep. I'm on my way to bed. Yeah. We're going to go flower picking tomorrow. It's such a cast coded activity. I wonder if I could borrow some flowers from Cass's garden. I have to try and remember where red flowers are. Oh, I'm so used to my bed being here. I just want to, like, surround the bed with red, you know? Actually, we'll put a roof on the house as well. We need to do that. That's on the to-do list. We have a strong to-do list. Please speak more Polish, but also stop. <laughs> Those are contradictory instructions, okay? Proszę. Um, uh, let's see. Um... I think we need to build a roof. I think we need to actually build a roof. <laughs> Polish is my native language. I was caught off guard. I, I, that's what I like to do. I like to keep people unbalanced with me. You know? If they never 100% know what I'm going to do or say next, then it's a constant surprise. Okay, we'll, we'll take the calcite. Yes, we'll take the calcite and... We'll start building the, the, the roof, but we'll fill in the floor with a different colour. <laughs> Use weak Polish. Mówisz poko... not poko... Troszę po polsku. Enough to get by. I have survival Polish under my belt. I'm currently studying it as just like a little extra thing. <laughs> that was hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's just good. It's good. It's good to just have. It's a very it's a very culturally rich language and the literature is very good if if anyone ever takes the chance. There is a lot of culturally rich uh, literature that if you ever get the chance to read, I would I would highly recommend. And, you know, uh, yes, that is, that is it. Chat died. Chat, wait, do you have Duolingo as well? Yes, yeah, so I do Duolingo and I also take uh, language classes twice a week. I take evening courses. It's just like a way to, to learn it. <laughs> 
that's that's actually where I've I've met quite a few of my friends because everyone who goes to a language class is kind of looking to make friends there as well, which is nice. So it all just sort of worked out nicely. But yes, I do have I do have Duolingo. I do the Duolingos. If I speak French or Italian, I don't speak any any. I don't speak any French. I've always had a bit of a difficulty with that. I did live in Rome for a little bit uh, when I was far, 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 far younger, and that was good. It was only it was only a handful of months that I was in Rome for, but um, I did pick up the 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 odd thing here and there. Uh, the the accent's decent, but. Then again, I've always had a bit of a talent when it comes to if I do pat myself on the back, however tangentially, which I normally don't like doing, but I've always had at least somewhat of a decent skill for picking up, uh, keep picking up like sort of language accents. Maybe it's just part of being an incubus, but you know, you've got to, as I've said before, have to keep the tongue talented. But if I if I speak French, I'll have to deal with the French. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. I, like, it's a wonderful place. And also, of course, Disney World is great. I actually went to France when I was a little kid because I wanted to go to Disney World. Um, or Disneyland, sorry. It's not Disney World over there. It's Disneyland. Uh, lily pads, we don't need those. What can we even make with lily pads? I feel like we should be able to make something out of lily pads. Maybe, maybe. We don't need the cobblestone. The glass is on the to-get list. Hey, Mary J, Xander, I finally got to see you live. Hello, Xander. Hello, Mary J. Welcome, welcome. Come on in. Welcome, my little netherlings, for those who are just arriving as well. You are all you are all looking ravishing this evening, this afternoon, tonight, wherever you are, whatever time zone you're in. Okay? You're doing great. Now, we need as many of these, these, uh, these, these things as possible. And by as many, I mean we need, like, a stack, which... Shouldn't take long in the slightest, considering we've got iron. I hear a zombie. I think there's a zombie outside the door. Oh well. He can wait. He can wait. It's like The Walking Dead. The zombies aren't really the threat anymore. The people are. Which is such a thing. Which is such a thing. The devaluation of zombies within zombie media is such an interesting concept that I would love to talk about. I don't know. I feel like there are so many things I want to ramble on. Like, the devaluation of the undead within fantasy zombie media is always so interesting to me, because they start off as the focal point, but then it suddenly turns into, but the humans were the real monsters the whole time. And it's like, no, I'm pretty sure the monsters are the real monsters, bro. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure the monsters are the real monsters, forgive me for saying. Ooh, hello? That sounded way too close. Zom... Zombie? Oh, wait a minute. Is this wall hollow? I think this wall's hollow. Wait a minute. No, it's not. It sounds further away. A ghost? It's just a zombie. Zombies are a dis- Zombies are a disappointment. Bloody hell, they sound so close, though. They're definitely, like... Are they in the wall? Like, I, I'm not crazy. They sound in there. Ah, oh, well, we were here for the calcite. That's all that we were here for. We're here for the calcite because despite what Cass says, I think calcite's a pretty block. And therefore, if I think it's pretty, Cass's opinion doesn't matter. Cass, Cass is like, oh, calcite's like a dirty block. I see calcite as a dirty block. I'm like, Cass, don't, don't, don't even. The elf starts ranting about what blocks he considers dirty. <laughs> I was so thrown off. Right! Right, Cass is normally nice. It was also, I saw a... I'm 
Sorry, I heard a noise. It's definitely that corner. Oh, lapis lazuli, I think. That's so distract, sir. Whoever's in the wall, could you not? I think that must be like an antechamber. An antechamber? That's the right word. Oh, Ka what did Kaz do? So we were all playing Minecraft together. I think it was about a week ago. Okay, just as a side note, I'm going to loop back around. Time is moving so fast, I don't like it. Do you guys realize that it was... Okay, it was two weeks ago that I played the kidnap for everyone on stream. Two weeks ago. I did not think it was two weeks ago. I thought it was closer to like a singular week. But no, it was actually two weeks ago I played that game for everyone two weeks ago and I'm like that that's too fast that's way too fast but yes Cass and I and, and Gail were all playing Minecraft together and ow ow sir ow sir you're going to get got for that sir but yes, um, we were all playing Minecraft, and I was looking, and I was choosing blocks for my house, you know, the the, the one that's here right now. And I'm like, hey, you know, Cass, uh, I, put, I, I made calcite part of the house. And he's like, you're going to replace the calcite, right? And I'm like, well, why, why, why would I do that, Cass? And he's like, well, you know, I just think calcite's, you know, a dirty block. And I'm like, Cass, what? <laughs> he's like, you know, I think it just looks dirty. And I'm like, Cass... Leave my house alone. Leave my house alone, sir. Like, oh, I just think calcite's a dirty block. I just think you should replace it. There we go. <laughs> Ban Cass from your house. Right, I told Cass he was banned. I told Cass he was banned. But then he turns around and he's like, you know, you've actually managed to make calcite look quite good when it's next to amethyst. And I'm like, see, see, I've managed to make calcite look good. I kind of treat calcite like it's, um, like, think of it as, like, New Jersey marble, you know? It's like, it's, it's like knockoff marble. It's not quite marble, but it looks like marble. And therefore, if it's presented in the right context, we could consider it marble, you know? You know? You know? That's what I believe anyway. Cass is so particular. Cass is such an old man. He's so, like, exactingly particular with what he desires. It's fine, it's fine. Cass is old, we have to expect him to be a little cantankerous, right? We have to expect him to be a little cantankerous. Cantankerous Cass. We know how people get when they when they reach their golden years. <laughs> Cass slander. I am very healthy. I am most certainly healthy. Aren't you and Cass the same age? No, Cass is way older than me. He's way older. He's like 2,000. I'm like 126. I, whew. I'm 126. He's like 2,000. Actually, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you've given me an idea. Oh, you've given me an idea. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. 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 I need to. I need to do this really quickly. I'm going to get a picture of the dinosaurs and I'm going to send it to Cass and be like, "Hey, you know her? Give me. Wait. Wait. I'll do that after stream. Wait. I'll do that after stream. I'll get a picture of some dinosaurs and send it to Cass and be like, "Hey, you know her." Uh, let's go. Let's go. We're mature adults here. We're, we're, we're really mature, really, really mature, really adults. <laughs> hey, you know her? <laughs> uh, 
look, okay, Cass is the one who's 2,000. If he didn't want to be made fun of for being old, he shouldn't have put himself as 2,000 years old, you know? We can be, like, we can be realistic about these things. Okay, place the blame where it really belongs, which is obviously with Cass. I hear an Enderman. There's an Enderman that lives in a hole in the ground over there. And I don't really know why he lives there, but he's chosen to live in a hole in the ground. And I'm so confused by that, because surely Endermen don't stick around during the day, do they? You're asking him to lie about his age? Listen, all the idols do it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, listen, okay? We all know, we all know that, like, 28 is idol speak for, like, 34, okay? We all know it. We all know it. Okay, guys, I'm, like, 28. Guys, I'm, like, 29. Okay, oh, okay, grandpa, let me know, let me know how the wine and charcuterie evening goes. <laughs> Alright, sure thing. Listen, all the Incubus streams are a violation. What are you talking about? All the all the Incubus streams are just straight violations. That's the point. You're not wrong, though. Of course I'm not wrong. I'm right. Of course I'm not wrong. I'm very right. I wonder if Gale has any diamonds lying around. What is in all these chests? Ah. Ah. A dilemma. A dilemma. A dilemma. Ah. Ah. But, but I like it so much, but it's... It's amethyst. No, no, okay, okay, no, we're walking away. We're walking away. We're walking away. We're walking away. We're not doing, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Not today. Not today. Not today. Not today. No. No. No, we're walking away. We're walking away. We're not doing this. Not today. Not today, Satan. Not today. Not today. I've been a very bad incubus, but I'm not. No, I have to walk. I have to walk away. I have to do. Trader. 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 Um, wait, ah, uh, wait, ah, uh, tra trader, tra tra wait, tra tra trader, tra trader, five for a cherry sapling or, ah, uh, um, no, uh, no, no trader, trader, can we talk, what do you have, mushrooms, pink dye, D yeah, okay, whatever, you don't have anything, sir, you don't have anything, goodbye, 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 how, what? Oh, they've got a Why did I need to? Screw you guys. You had a wool generator right here. We didn't even need to go on that quest. Build a boat, Sandy. It's fine. I know there's a boat right there. There's a boat right here. See? 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 It's like that. Like that. We're just going to take a boat and we're going to go wander over the horizon. There was a wool generate. It's fine. It's fine. If we didn't actually go on our own little quest and find the the, the red flowers on our own, then we never would have discovered that really awesome place uh, over there, or the the towers, or any of the stuff that we found, like the the windswept uh, hills. We never would have found any of that if we didn't go off on our own. So honestly, net win for us. Yeah, we wouldn't have found the diorite either. All right. So I'm thinking that here must have more red flowers because we got a bunch of red flowers when we were here last time. And honestly, this is becoming one of my favorite places just to go. It's a really nice little little meadow. And I think I might build a little temporary base there, you know, because it's got the, the sheep for the wool, which we didn't need any of, but oh well. And, you know, we've got the, um, the, the, the meadow stuff. 
we just need to find a way to like generate infinite red flowers. I wonder if there's a way to do that online. There must be a way to like get get infinite red dye in Minecraft. Unless there just isn't. But you know, I feel like there is considering the stuff that the players have done over the years. I've created like automation and computers. If someone can make a computer in Minecraft, then they can then they can most certainly turn around and and and, and build something else. Make a villa for vacations. I was just thinking of building a little dome out of dirt over this thing, but if you want to dream big, you're more than welcome to. Actually, we can we can leave that there. Uh Red flowers, right over there. Red flowers, I see them. Red flower detector. <laughs> okay, we need as much red dye as we can. Bone meal. Bone meal. Oh, I have bone meal. If you build iron farm, the golem drops red flowers. Win win. Ah, muy interesante. Okay. Okay, so we don't have to we don't have to wander and collect red flowers like we're like I don't know, like we're some random wandering flower collecting elf. We can just turn around and, and do this. Is that cobblestone? What's that there? Ooh, that's a speed ray. Hey, go away. Go away. Don't come near me. I don't know you. Back off. You saw the way that thing came at me. That came at me really aggressively to do nothing. That... I didn't like that. I didn't like that. I felt that thing just aggressively vibe-checked me. <laughs> I feel like that thing just aggressively vibe-checked me. <laughs> that... Wait, someone's been here before. Wait, what? Wait, who's been here? Zombies. Wait, what? Someone else has been here. Huh. Huh. Someone's been farming gunpowder and zombie parts. Oh, I thought this place was all mine. What do I don't even get my own place anymore? <laughs> Someone's been Someone's been here before. No, I don't. I, I feel like someone else built that. I feel like someone built that mob spawner. Like, one of the other boys probably came here and built the mob spawner. Ah, uh, they probably they probably did that. Okay, well, even if they did come here, they missed all of this good- I don't know if they did. But there's cobblestone, and cobblestone isn't a naturally occurring block, so someone must have gone there, built that. They might have appra approached. They might have approached from a different side and just kind of missed out on all of this. Because there's no way one of the boys would leave like emerald or lapis lazuli just laying around. They've tainted my flower field. They have, they have. I'm disappointed. What is that blue? What is that blue? That blue's pretty. Oh, those are berry bushes. Uh, maybe, maybe. Huh. All right, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, either way, in the midwhile, in the meanwhile, we'll sleep through the night, and then we'll head home, and we'll start seeing if we can get some more red flowers in a more responsible way. Oh, come on! It's like five minutes before midnight. I don't want to kill the sheep. The sheep here have been very nice to me. They've been very charitable. I do need to snip the wool off of that black sheep, though, before we go. The black sheep right there, we need to snip his wool. Because we've only got one piece, and we need two to create the, the, the bits of the, the path that we need. Here, come, come here. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, sheepy. Thank you, sleepy sheepy. Thank you, sleepy sheepy. Look at the sleepy sheepy. 
<laughs> sheep file. The sheep file. I love the sheep file. I love how many sheep there are here. I feel like this is just a place where they've been left to roam free, you know? They've been forgotten about by the rest of civilization, and thus they shall build their own free world. I'll have my little light Yagami moment. I shall become the god of the new sheep world. We wanted to swing by that tower as well because there was some iron up there. Swamp flowers, they glow a bit at night. Oh, I wouldn't mind like having some stuff that glows in my home. There, oh, there's an enderman just stood up there. Whoop, he teleported. Let's see, okay, what we'll do is we'll pick this direction. I like this direction because it's away from everything that we know. No, it is, oh, come on. It's back home. Okay, then I pick this direction. I want to choose somewhere that's there. I want to, I want to, we need to explore because if we're to explore, that's how we're going to find more of the red flowers. And it's not like we don't have enough food to get by. We've got some zombie flesh to eat. We don't have zombie flesh to eat. We have some pork. We have a bunch of lapis lazuli. Um, there's like a desert here. I remember someone saying in like another stream that deserts spawn more creepers or something like that, which is, which is interesting. That's where, hmm. Okay, you know what? I'm beginning to feel confined in this life that we've built. I'm a wanderer. What the bloody hell is that? What the bloody hell is that? It, what? What is this meant to be? A stranded ship? Well, heck, I can't tell if one of the boys built that or if that is just a, a shipwreck. Oh, is that an actual, like, loot thing? Oh, is this actually, like, a loot thing? Oh, there's... Oh! That's natural. Oh, let's go. Ha, Gale Galleon thinks he's the pirate. I'm the one coming across shipwrecks. It's empty. It's already been fucking looted. Mm. Fine, fine. Someone got there first. Someone came to someone. Someone got the, 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 the. Yeah, it's probably Gale's. It's probably Gale's ship. That's probably why he's building a new one because he couldn't go without crashing it. <laughs> uh, someone got to the shipwreck first. I should have known. I should have. Red flowers. Hey, there's red more red flowers. And then we go. Eh, 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 eh. Clear it all up. Eh, 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 eh. Okay, this is so. It's gonna be so cute though because oh, pumpkins. I like pumpkins. Okay. <gasps> Oh. Oh, that's going on the karaoke stream. That's going. That's going on the karaoke stream. I don't know why, but but, but but pumpkins threw me into Nightmare Before Christmas, and now I'm like, I need um, I need I miss you by Blink One Eight Two on there. I need I miss you. You know, <laughs> I need that there now. I do. That needs to go on there. Hello there. The angel from my nightmares, the shadow in the background of the morning. <laughs> like it's it's good. It's good. <laughs> the pumpkins, the pumpkins. I have a cool question. Why are you collecting red flowers? That's a great question. I need red flowers to make red dye because I want to make red carpet. And to make the, and we got to get a bunch of flowers to do that. So I'm, I'm collecting red flowers, going on a little quest to gather them. And hopefully we should soon have enough to finish our little project. I don't need to fill the whole room with red flowers, but I do just need to turn around and fill the parts that, that, that can be visible with red flowers. Or not the visible, the, the sort of main area. 
Okay, so I've already started making a playlist for it, I have to be honest, because my goal is, one of my personal goals is I would really like to hit 20k before my birthday. Um, looking at how it is right now, it's probably going to be around slash on slash before slash, it's kind of a very fuzzy grey window right now, because it's either going to be slightly before or slightly after or on the actual day, but... Either way, I've started making a little a little uh, playlist of songs and like that I'd like to do. I don't think anyone's been this far this way though. I don't think anyone's been this no, because we've got a lot of red flowers over here. We'll grab these and then we'll head home. This should be enough red flowers for us to to get exactly what we need. Which is good. And then we can make the carpet and then I can show everyone how good my little Mojo Dojo Casa house looks. I do wish there was an easier way to get black wool, though, from just the rare occurring black sheep. I might ask Gail to make one of those little sheep prisons, but with a black sheep, so I can get lots of black wool. In the most resource-intensive way. This is just how you make stuff, isn't it? This is just how you make stuff. You, you gather it. Like, it, I, I know there must be ways where you create, like, little, little, little farms for things, but I don't know how to make farms. Oh, hey, look, a hole in the ground. I suppose we could build a garden and do the bone meal thing. We do need to finish our garden. You know what? We'll do the we'll do the flowers. We'll keep the seeds, and we'll 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 grind up the bones that we've got into bone meal, and start making flowers that way. To be honest, I also really wanted to do the exploration in this because I really liked the idea of of just finding somewhere to explore that wasn't just home. Because you know, sometimes we got to go wandering. Sometimes you have to you have to get lost to find yourself. And by by the way, on on that note, I, I do think I'm slightly lost. Um. I think I might actually be slightly lost. Um, um, uh, oh no, there's Roscoe's home. Oh, I'm so glad that Roscoe has such small man syndrome that he builds stuff really large because of the fact that, like, it means that I'm always able to find my way back to the boys. I really appreciate that. Like, I'm glad that Roscoe and Lucy have both turned around and, and felt the need to do the classic, like, guy thing of big building. <laughs> I don't have a map. I don't have a map. Who needs a map? Doesn't a map... I don't know what even goes in a map. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Here we go. Oh come on. It's a thing. It's a thing. Look at look at like all the all the people who do like the the, the, the look at look at them look at look at them. Somehow I feel offended. I'm a small man. Listen, okay? Just because you're small doesn't mean you're any you're any worse. In fact, I would refer to you as fun-sized, okay? Because there's so much more that you can do with a short person than a tall person, okay? Like the, the fun-sized people are super valid. Yeah, fun-sized. <laughs> Fun sized. Yeah, what? What? It's fun sized, okay? Size difference tag. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. You get it. You'll you'll you totally get it. Fun sized acknowledged. Yes, fun sized acknowledged. All right, let's let's tail off back home. Let's let's run back home, because it's getting it's, it's 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 almost time, and we can start our garden properly as well because we've got all of those seeds. So, yeah, yeah, size size difference. Oh, it's also really easy to find my house because it's got it's the place with the giant lava fall. 
<laughs> that time I got reincarnated as a glizzy. Thank you for the glizzy. <laughs> thank you, thank you. See, glizzy gets it. Glizzy gets it. It's the glizzy lord. Yes, it's the glizzy lord. I wonder if I should build some, like, struts or pillars up there. That might be a good idea. Make it look a little bit more natural. All right. Welcome home. We're home. Look at that. We're still waiting to build a roof. We're still, we're still, we're, we're going to get on that at some point, I swear. All right. What's your goal? Okay, my goal right now is... We're going to... We've done a bunch of home improvements. This stream has been all about home improvements and making things a little bit more comfy and homely. So now we're going to go to our little garden over here. And we're going to... We need to get rid of these planks. It's not even. It's not even and that's going to kill me. It's not even and that's going to kill me. Uh... Yeah, we can just we can just grab some of the dirt blocks that we had to one side. But we're going to build like some little flower beds along here. It's gonna be good. It's going to be good. Have you checked on the forest, the one you dropped lava on? I'm sure it's fine. Let's let's see. Let's see. We'll go see what the lava forest looks like. Yeah. Totally fine. See? No burning. It's just falling into a pit below. It's, it's beautiful, beautiful. Exactly what the dream needed to be. Also, I still have Gale's dogs here. I feel like I need to tell Gale at some point in like a really roundabout way. Hey, buddy, can you pick up your dogs? They've been living at mine for a while. Can you imagine how awkward that would be as just a conversation in real life? Like, hey, dude, could you pick up your dogs? It's been a while and like they kind of live at my place now. <laughs> like, dude... I, 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 you know I love having your dogs over, but they've been living at mine for literally weeks now. <laughs> Could you please? Could you please maybe consider? It, it, like, like, look, look it up. Maybe think about it. Consider it. Judge it. just lay this down here and make like a little flower bed. Ooh. There we go. That'll work. That'll work. Maybe. Kind of. Okay, so we'll do that and we'll do we have those seeds on us? We don't. They're probably in a in a little in a little box somewhere. Reminds me of the catnap story that happened to your friend. True, true. Zada, have you heard the news about new wolf variants? I haven't. I don't actually keep up on very much Minecraft news. I have to admit, I, I'm more of a player and enjoy. I'm a casual. I'm a casual. I'm a filthy casual gamer. <laughs> I'm a filthy casual gamer. I deserve. I deserve all your scorn. All of your scorn. Also, we'll say we're going to start wrapping up the stream in about 15, 20 minutes because I have to go to the airport and pick up someone. So we will turn around and prep for that. Let's just grab some of these. There we go. Hey, Ellie. Hi, Zanny. Also, chill stream uh, while I do art stuff. One question. If the Dark Overlords ask you to sing in JP, Nia is JP game. So that song would count as Japanese, right? It would count as Japanese. It would indeed, Ellie. And I would definitely sing some of the Nier soundtrack. I do love the Nier soundtrack. The Nier soundtrack is great. One of my all-time favorites. I actually think it's one of the most creative soundtracks out there, which I absolutely adore. And I 100% would actually sing something from the Nier soundtrack. I'd pitch it down for sure. And also, by the way, thank you for this uh, super chat. Strong first super chat. Awesome first super chat. That was a great one. Let's go. I love that. That's such a good question. Then we'll put those there. Lovely. Lovely. But yeah, I, I for sure would actually sing something from Nier. Nier is a really, really good game, and it's one that's definitely close to my heart. You know? Because I, 
Because 9S and 2B, and I love those two. They're so great. There we go. That's that's hot. That's hot. Come back here. There we go. That's nice. That's nice. Oh, Adam and Eve. Of course, Adam and Eve. I forgot Adam and Eve. Cardinal Sin. Cardinal Sin. Those two were great, though. They they brought so much life to that game. That and I've seen so much spicy art of those two. Um, oh, I love this. I love this. That's nice. Okay, we'll grab some of our seeds from one of the little boxes we've got about, and then we'll start planting. Oh, true, I, I, I could? I mean, as long as it's not technically English, I can get away with it. I, I, I don't know, there, there, there are very specific rules, I'd have to ask. But like, there are very, there are very specific rules in regards to what songs I can sing, and a lot of it does depend on like, language as well as interpretation. So I'll have to, I'll have to ask, but if I, if I am told that that is something that I need to do, then I, I will definitely do that. Wait, is it Mother's Day? I... Don't fucking scare me like that! Oh my god, don't scare me like that! Wait, is it Mother... Don't scare me like that! It's... Okay, okay, it, it might be American Mother's Day. Is it American Mother's Day? Or is it... It's... It's Mother's Day in the UK! Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, I need to buy something on the way to the airport! I'm such a bad son! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I- Oh, okay, 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 I'm stopping by the airport gift shop. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, she's flying in today. That explains why she wanted to visit. Fuck! Oh, I thought she was just being nice, that harpy! Um, I thought she was just being nice and wanting to visit me. Now I see. Oh. Ah. 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 Okay. 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 No one fucking clip this. Don't you fucking clip. No. No. No one dare. No one dare. This is got. This is no longer a chill Minecraft stream. I lied. This is no longer a chill Minecraft stream. I've been betrayed. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. We have recovery time. Okay. The airport has a gift shop. I just need to get there a little bit, a little, a little bit early. I just need to get there in in time to to to, to do that. Amika funds for Mother's Day gift for Mama Netherbrand. Indeed, indeed. Mother Brand definitely needs needs it. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super, Mika. Thank you so much for the super. Failed to read the room. GG. <laughs> I'm terrible. Why am I such a bad son? Oh, I'm such an awful son. Okay, flower flower bouquet for sure. I tell her <laughs> Oh. Tell her our love for her son is our Mother's Day gift. I... I think that might get me beaten to death. I think that might get me beaten to death. Are you trying to kill me? You know what? I, I will I will take her out for a meal tonight. That's that's easy answer. Easy answer. I will just say it at the airport. Okay? 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 Get the gift for Mama Brand quick. Maybe your merch would be a nice gift, I guess. I don't even have my merch yet. I don't even have it. I don't even have it. I'm getting it when I go to Japan. I'm getting it when they send it. When they, I'm getting it when they, when, when the Dark Overlords recall me in coach class again. Maybe. Um. Book a reservation. Okay. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. I know a Hawaiian restaurant. I was going to go there earlier. I will simply turn around. I will do that. 
I will I will get us to the Hawaiian restaurant. That will that will be it. A bouquet of flowers as well will be good. Maybe I can I can pick something up at the airport. The airport has lots of knickknacks. I can do that. I can I can be really smart with this, okay? I will improvise. I'm I'm the king of improvisation, maybe. Um a, a good incubus improvises. A good incubus can improvise anything. <laughs> that's that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm telling myself in this moment. I'm telling, I'm telling myself. Okay, here's another fun Asquoth. Thank you so much. Oh my god. I didn't know it was Mother's Day. I'm a bad son. I, well, then again, I was a bad son. Color line and extra funds for Lady Netherbrand. Okay, okay. Okay, but honestly, okay, I do actually love my mother a lot. This is, this is the thing, okay? So I don't think I've ever actually mention this on on stream but i i do actually love her a lot um she she actually has um osteoporosis and i i spent a lot of my sort of like teenage years looking after her and all of that and making sure that things were good and now i've i've moved away i still kind of worry a fair bit and um and yeah i've not always been the, i've not always been the best son but um but i i still try my damnedest with it so even though I know I'm not the not the best, I'm I'm still trying, you know, and I'm still doing the absolute best I can. And I have to admit, maybe maybe in the past, little Zanny had acted out a little bit because of because of the way everything turned out. But you know, I I'm I'm a I'm a good grown grown ass little little dude now, you know. I'm a grown ass little dude now, and I'm I'm good. <laughs> Uh, Zanny's a good son. <laughs> I'm a passable son. I'm a passable son. <laughs> but thank you guys. You're all very, very sweet. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> all right, let's see. Um, we're Minecrafting. We're Minecrafting. <laughs> Damn it, you guys keep break making me break and go sweet on stream. This is this is not the the level of incubus. Are you serious right now? I add in the middle of a live stream. Uh, it's it's it should be good. It, it, I I will just head over, do my thing, carry the bags, be the wonderful, loving, doting son that 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 I I do have it in me to be, and I will do. You should cook for her, Mary J. That's a that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Cooking is always good. What I'll do is she's staying for like four days and Minecrafting on UK Mother's Day, please. Please, I can't take these roasts. I can't take these roasts. Yes, I can. Um, no. Um, <clears throat> what I will do, what I will do is I will be very smart. I will be very wise. I will, I will be very, very wise. And I will turn around and, um, and, and, uh, and take her out somewhere. And she's staying the entire week, which explains a lot. She's uh, so you may actually get a cameo of my mother on stream at some point, which which may happen. Hey, Lin Lan. Uh, uh, yes, Lin Lan. Uh, thank you for the first ever super chat, and thank you very very much. Much appreciation. Box of chocolates. Put a nice note on it. Good idea. Good idea. Good idea. NGL the Netherlings have better roasts than the Roskals. Okay, the Roskals were just disappointing with their roasts. The Roskals were disappoint the Roskals were disappointing with their roasts. I love the Roskals. They're such a nice little band. They definitely remind me of like a younger, more more pepped up Zanny. But like those guys, they they don't spit venom. They 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 they, they sort of throw the common cold. <laughs> Mama brand cameo. Indeed, first ever super. Congratulations! I don't know. She may make a cameo because she's turned around. She's been like, she's been like, oh, you say you do the stream thing. Can I watch you stream sometime? <laughs> Mama brand debut when I'm a maker a maker PNG model. Ellie, yes, yes. We'll get my mother a we'll get my mother a PNG model. We'll do that. <laughs> you know what? I'll actually. I will ask the Dark Overlords if I could actually, like, have her be a cameo on stream and get her to react to things. But what if I got her to react to my clip compilations? What if I actually got her to react to clip compilations of things I've done? <laughs> that would be so bad. That would be so bad. That would be so good. <laughs> you know, they have actually... The Dark Overlords have threatened to get me to do that before. That would be, that would be content. 
That would be amazing. <laughs> uh, I'd have to make sure she doesn't call me by my high demonic name. You know, after all, hearing it does drive mortals to insanity. But I definitely think there's potential there. Be like, here's your son in a nutshell. The sussy noises. No, I couldn't. If anyone, like, mentions the sussy noises, I would die. I, that, like, I know that's just how I sound when I'm scared. But, like, the sussy noises are an entire world apart. How do I make a candle? Honeycomb and strength. Okay. The clips of me and Grim. The clip. Oh, the clips of me and Grim. Okay, okay. But she's heard me talk like that before. She's heard. Okay, she. The, the, way TMI. Way TMI. But she's heard me talk like that before. In, in certain circumstances. Way, way too much information. But she's heard me talk talk like that before. It wouldn't be the first time that she's heard me say say some absolutely deplorable things. <laughs> it would be the first time. What? Yeah. Yeah. She's just like, you know, she's heard me say some, some kind of out there things before. <laughs> She's heard me say some out there things, but you know, no, 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 you've got to, it's a way of asserting, it's a way of asserting yourself, you know, she was raising, exactly, she was raising an incubus, okay, she's had to deal with a lot, she knows the monster she's raised, okay, somehow she's still foolish enough to love it, um, <laughs> me referring to myself as an it, <laughs> Uh, I, okay, okay, okay. I need to, I need to not get too, 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 too. Ah, oh, you, you guys are making my cheeks hurt. You're making me laugh too much. <laughs> I've actually got like the cheek, the cheek hurty thing right now from smiling. Honestly, I, I have to admit. Okay, tiny bit of sap from me again. But as much as I do love doing these Minecraft streams for all of you, there's a tiny little bit of me, and by tiny little bit I mean a, a, a little, a nice chunk of me, that gets some real satisfaction out of just getting to vibe with all of you, because you all say the darndest things, and it's actually so funny. Like, I, I really enjoy the, the stuff that I hear. Let's knock a hole in this wall. And that should be good. That's three by three by three. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. We needed one more. Oh, well. <laughs> I get such a kick out of it, though. <laughs> we just needed the confession stream. We're doing another confession stream as well. I don't know if any of you heard me mention it earlier, but we're doing another confession stream because I got sent some raunchy stuff. I got sent some wild stuff. Like, I mean, there was some stuff out there that, that makes incubi blush, incubi, succubi, all, all just, all, all the, all the buys, all the buys. Oh, there was someone saying about how they were dating someone and then they found out later on that, like, they were their half cousin. No, not their half cousin. Their, um... They were like, they, they met someone and they moved to a new city and they met that person and they were like dating them, right? And then it turned out that their grandfather was like, had, like, had, had been with like someone else and they were like the kid of the, of, they were like the grandkid of like the, 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 the like affair of the grandfather. And it was like, whoa. And I was like, whoa. And I'm like, and they're like, is this, is this chill? Is this good? Is this bad? Is this, is this, is this like like we've already been going out for like almost a, almost a, like nine months and i'm like what and i'm like what and i'm like no way no way and it, and then i'm like wait a second but like it's bad but also at the same time they're like they're like you know we didn't know and we're just sort of there and we're sort of and like we kind of I, I i will i will explain it all i will explain it all on there but thank you so much to the person who was like yo i'm sending this in do do as you will because i was like what 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 i was like this is tea this is tea they're like we need an incubus's opinion and i'm like okay okay like it's okay and that's the thing because i'm like it's unintentional and also it's not like like full-blooded cousins you know 
And I'm like, it, it, on one hand, I'm like, it's unintentional and you guys didn't go out of your way. And like, I, uh, and I get that you're all attached now as well. And it's like, oh, it, it, I just, oh, oh, scolding hot tea. Scolding hot tea. Like, I, I couldn't, I couldn't. I would literally like melt. Because, like, I feel the, I can't even judge them, though, because they're, like, because, like, it, it, no one did anything deliberately. No, I, I will, okay, I will get into all the details on the stream, but I, I was so blown away by, by, like, because you guys are wild. You guys are wild. It's not confessions, it's more like gossip with you. It's more like holy gossip. Okay, the confession streams are kind of gossip streams, but people telling on themselves, which I think is kind of cute because they're like, okay, Zanny, I did this thing. Judge me. Am I am I forgiven or or am I going to or am I going to to get a nether punched? And I'm like, hmm, we shall sit in judgment. Let me get my little gavel and I will I will bang it on the table depending on on the severity of your crime. <laughs> but like, I, it, it must be so. It must be so weird, like, moving to a new city and not knowing anyone, and then accidentally, like, doing... Ooh, it was it was a thing. It, ooh, ooh. But yeah, no, there, there's, like, a whole bunch of them. I don't know whether you guys just got crazier in the time it took for me to, like, go from one stream to the next, or you guys just raunched things up a little bit. And either way, I respect it. I respect it. Oh, and of course, and of course, while I'm at it, after Okasama, uh, it's, it's for you this time. Aww. Lila, <laughs> thank you. But yes, um, also, uh, I'm doing, I'm stealing one of Gail's things. I'm stealing one of Gail's things. Uh, I'm doing a Riz the Incubus thing next week. So all of you guys get to uh, submit your ideas for like dates and stuff with, with me and how you would, how you would woo me, how you would Riz me and romance me, <laughs> which I think would be a fun little, little thing. If I was going to imprison cat boys, this isn't how I'd do it. If I was going to imprison cat boys, I would do it more like this. Wait a minute, wait a minute. If I was going to imprison some cat boys, I would put them here. And then I would dig this into a into a bigger hole. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, there's a proper way to imprison cat boys, and, and that wasn't it. Um, so what you want to do is you want to turn around and you want to like, grab these, get rid of them, and now we'll put the bars. Because you only need two blocks to stand. You don't need three. So if we're if we're going with 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 what's needed here. Okay, we turn around, we put these two here. We turn around, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we put this eighth one in the center. And then we can try and put like a trap door in the middle. If I was looking to, you know, mayhap. There we go. Dark oak pressure plate. Which one's the one with the trapdoor? You shouldn't need... Do you need, like, a full station for a trapdoor? We don't need the iron trapdoor, do we? Pressure plate. I guess we could use an iron trapdoor. It feels like a bit of a waste considering how... It feels like a bit of a waste, but, but at the same time, it's an iron trapdoor. It's for the aesthetic. It's for the aesthetic. We need to make sure that the cat boys can't escape. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that... That's a nice little catboy prison. That works. We'll just add some, some of the bars to the wall to keep the aesthetic. There we go. There we go. So if we're going to keep them, they're going to be there. Um, we need some redstone. We do need some redstone. Or we could just attach... Can we attach, like, the lever next to it? Wait, can we get a button? I think we can just get a... 
we need a oh, we need how close does it need to actually be on it oh, i think it does actually need to be on it okay okay what we'll do is we'll just get over here we'll have to complete this we'll have to complete the catboy prison another time actually wait 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 we do we don't have to we don't have to if i my the fuck what is that Oh, that's my entrance way. Oh. Oh. Oh, well, we need to cover this. Unless I just put stones here. Here we go. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just mine this out really quickly. Because we need it to be a certain, certain lowness, a certain... Yeah, that'll, that'll do, that'll do. So we'll just cover that and that. There we go, there we go, okay. Okay, so now it's low enough that once we push a cat boy in, they wouldn't be able to get out. That's good to know. The cat boy's living in the second floor. Yeah, the cat, like it's a little dungeon for them, you know? Well, you see? So we sort of like, we bait them in here with like and like head pats and stuff, right? And the Catboy prison is very escapable. We'll have to fix that, actually. We need to we need to get rid of the dirt wall. The cat... Listen, okay? They're, they're easily confused. They're easily confused, the little felines, okay? What we just need to do is we just need to keep giving them compliments, head pats, belly rubs, and telling them that, you know... Uh, and, and telling them we think they're big, brave, and strong. And they'll, they'll get confused easy enough, right? There we go. There we go. Okay, we'll just shove them down there and then they'll they'll be forgotten. <laughs> Are you gonna get them any toys to play with? I can't answer that one. I can't answer that one and stay monetized. <laughs> I can't answer that one and stay monetized. Um... <laughs> Silence mod, you are not allowed to judge me. All right, we're building a door now. We need doors. Let's go with doors. We need, we need, we need doors. Okay, let's just add a door. I think a door would be good. Look at that beautiful dark oak doors. Oh, dark oak doors would be such a nice like addition to this place. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, and there we go. Nice. Nice. All right, based, 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 based. Okay, very pretty. Very pretty setup. Good, beautiful place, beautiful place. Um, and now, and now I feel like this is the perfect point for us to, to do the little, the little, the little bit of the stream. Where, where I go, uh, here we go, here we go. Thank you, everyone. That was a fun little Minecraft stream, wasn't it? That was great. I love doing the Minecraft streams with all of you. I, I genuinely do. They're probably one of my favorite types of streams. But the coming week, okay, I'll probably have my schedule out a little later than usual. But the coming week is going to be really, really good. Like, really good. Uh, we've got some, some more Incubus Confessionals. We've got Riz the Incubus. And, of course... We're going to try, we're going to attempt the baking stream again. We're going to attempt the hand cam baking stream again. I know, I know, it's ambitious, it's ambitious. It's going to be later in the week, but next weekend, we're going to be making an attempt at it, okay? I'm not quite sure how things are going to play out, but it should be good. It should be really good. After all, the first time with the bump, it, 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 it 
who knows who knows but be sure to get hyped up i've got also morning coffee with lucy on tuesday so my first stream back will be me and lucy getting some coffee chatting talking and we're gonna be talking about a lot of things the sort of past month where things are going i'm going to obviously do what i do with all of my guests and aggressively flirt with them and of course it's just going to going to be the way things go and then after that we're actually going to be pivoting morning coffee in a different direction i'm going to be pivoting it more into a bit of a talk show so i'm going to be inviting guests on from both independent creators and other agencies and i'm going to be talking to them about what they do and what they like and also do doing little, little mini kind of interview banter sessions with them. So I think that that's going to be a really interesting way to do it. It's still going to be very personal. It's still going to be very focused and very audience based and very Zatsu, but we're going to be doing sort of one more uh, audience and me based coffee, and then one where I bring on a guest as much as I can. And of course, if you do have anyone that you would like to see on uh, the morning coffee streams, do let me know. Let me know either on Twitter or some other way, because I would love to bring on guests and and just have that nice little little conversation and obviously if you guys engage that's the first tra uh, step to getting that door open so if you like that if you like that of course and of course congrats on maxing out the butterfly machine oh Suzanne. hey thank you belly little i really appreciate that bell lily uh i really appreciate that the butterfly machine is is one of my favorites and of course hitting hitting the the 200 but 200 pound mark is really nice yeah, I, I now need to step up though, because I want to do uh, more weight on that. <laughs> oh, Hitomi, thank you for the stream. Say hi to Mama Netherbrand for us. I will, I promise. I promise I will send all of the regards and, you know, I'll even turn around and I'll let you guys, I'll take a picture of what I of what I get us for dinner. How's that? I'll, I'll take a picture of the restaurant, uh, not the restaurant, but like the food I, I get ordered <laughs> at the restaurant. I'll take a picture of the Hawaiian food. You, you guys will love it. You guys will love it. <laughs> All right, all right. Otsu, all of you, thank you very much for coming to the stream, and I will see you all far sooner than you think. So until the next, much love. Mwah. And this is Zanny signing off. Until the next. Now get out of here, you beautiful little scamps. Go on. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs>